The Xbox 360 marketplace is shutting down July of this year, and although some content will still be available on modern consoles, a huge majority will disappear forever. Whether it's gamer picks, themes, exclusive games, and so on. So in this video, I compiled all of my previous marketplace videos, as well as a ton of brand new additional content, such as free items, backwards compatible games, extended lists, and much more. And before we start, I just want to say, if you find this video useful in any way, I strongly appreciate if you dropped your boy a like and even subscribe for future videos. And last but not least, I want to give a very big shout out to the Xbox 360 community as well as you guys, Koba Gang members, for helping your boy out with some information. I displayed everyone that's helped me out on the screen right now. I appreciate every single one of you. Hell yeah, guys. Thank you for helping your boy out with the preservation of the Xbox 360 marketplace. And with that being said, let's get ready to document the Xbox 360 and its history for the sake of preservation and the culture. Alright, so before we get started in the specific topics of the marketplace, I want to give you guys some tips and information of how I go about things and searching and like using the marketplace. So first thing I recommend, if your options are too hard, the marketplace keeps fucking up, you always have the option to go on the actual Xbox website itself. You can buy and own content. It's going to be linked to your account and all you got to do after is go on your 360 and type it out, whatever you bought, and it's going to say download again. Now regarding payment, what I suggest you guys to do is use a card instead of PayPal. Out of my experience, PayPal for me does not work. My PayPal account is totally fine, but going about purchasing items with my PayPal, Xbox just keeps giving me an error for some reason. So I stick to my card and if you're having trouble with the payment, it's saying you, know, you can't buy this and whatnot. Add a new payment method, add a card and it should work. Other useful information of how I go about in this video is this marketplace is set in Canada. So the region is set in Canada. If you want to follow this to it's 100% maximum potential of finding everything I find, I suggest making a brand new account and setting the region to Canada. There might be certain items that are not in your region and why not? So definitely follow this video on a Canadian marketplace. Also, I want to really quickly say regarding the Xbox 360 marketplace after the shutdown, you'll be able to download your content on your download history. So even if you own it and you don't really download it right away, as of right now, you can still use the download history section. And as far as I know, once the marketplace shuts down, every transaction within the 360 will not be possible. That goes for renewing your gold membership, buying avatar items, games, DLCs, gamer picks, themes, and applications. But referring to what I just said before, if you have them in your download history, they should be acquirable after the shutdown. And yeah, I don't think I'm missing anything else. But yeah, I thought it'd be important to let you guys know what exactly will happen after the shutdown. All right, I just want to quickly say guys that in this video, I provide a lot of links regarding custom themes, the mod tool to add them, a website to get Xbox 360 gamer picks and RGH games, AKA modded Xbox 360 games for your modded console. And the links are all on my Discord server, AKA the Koba Castle Discord server. Awesome community, find out the Koba gang members. And yeah, completely free. And even though I do say it in my server, I'm gonna say it again, specifically for RGH games, please use the link at your own risk as i am not responsible to what happens to your xbox 360 and or computer but all i can say is i've done it and i've had no problems regarding like viruses or malware or any dysfunctional shit. but yeah all links are in the discord server which is linked down below in the description and yeah see you there A couple of months left guys until doomsday for the xbox 360 marketplace so i thought there'd be no better time right now to make a list of some of the best non-backwards compatible xbox 360 games before it's too late 
Not only are they only available on Xbox 360, but a huge majority of these games are digital only. If not, maybe like one isn't, but like they about to vanish forever. And yeah, you could probably find a pirated version of these games for your modded Xbox, but it's just not the same, man. Plus, you'll be able to get the achievements in a legitimate way. These games are not in a specific order, but I consider these games the best due to their ratings, popularity, and of course, enjoyment. So let's get into it. All right, I know I said there's no specific order. There isn't, but I wanted to start with this game specifically because it's so such a classic because it only appears in the Xbox 360 marketplace. Not Xbox One, not PS3, nowhere but here. So we're really about to lose this gem. And it's South Park Tenorman's Revenge. Classic game based on the South Park series. Man, this is a must cop. It's a fun 2D platform game with boss levels where you play as different South Park characters. They also have a multiplayer, but I'm not sure if it's still up. But yo guys, this is a definite cop because we're about to lose this for good. Next game on the list is one of my favorites. Not this specific game, but the series is Worms Ultimate Mayhem. Bro, Worms, I don't know. I just love Worms. It's first off, it's a it's a fun game that takes patience and honestly it's pretty hard. But Worms Ultimate Mayhem, this game, it's not digital only, but it's very hard, in my opinion, to find it in a disc form the only disc form i found was this post on ebay in like a bundle and yeah this is the only 3d worms game on the xbox 360 others are like you know 2d honestly not, not my favorite type of worms games i like the 3d aspect but yeah worms ultimate mayhem definitely get it before it's gone next we got assault heroes the first one it's a pretty cool game it's like a vertical tank game well not really tank well i th are they tanks no they're like just like cars type shit and you just shoot a bunch of shit it's like an arcade shooter it's honestly in my opinion it's definitely worth the price five bucks canadian it also has multiplayer i'm not sure if that's still up but yeah assault heroes not backwards compatible there's a pc version i'm pretty sure but it's known to be played on the one and only 360 by the way guys i recommend typing the whole game in unlike i'm doing you know half fasting it so it's easier to find but next game i'm honestly pretty excited to play is charlie murder this beat em up game has been a classic for over a decade it's available on pc but once again it's been known to play on xbox 360 not backwards compatible of course with xbox one but yeah this classic beat em up game it reminds me a lot of um like dad and me or like the battle block theater uh art style but yo this is another banger of a game that we're about to lose for good next we got a super classical title that still has multiplayer running it's very fucking hard to find a match <laughs> is call of duty classic wait a minute wait there you go holy shit i thought i got delisted for a sec call of duty classic this is the first call of duty game to ever exist it's it's i wouldn't consider it a remastered version but it's an enhanced port which means it's able to be played on the 360 not only like older generations but yeah call of duty classic is a pure classical classical game if you want to know the origins of call of duty where it all started this is the game for you and yeah get it before it's gone next we got duke nukem 3d there's a remastered version of this on xbox one but the original is gonna disappear forever on a 360 but duke nukem it really reminds me of like um doom like the first titles of doom back in the day but yeah it has multiplayer online co-op online i'm not sure if they're still up honestly but yeah this game pure reminds me of like doom a definite cop if you want to play the original instead of the world tour remastered version and yeah Next game is a genre that I honestly love and it's called Schizoid. This game, it's like a spaceship shooter type thing like like Ikaruga but more like dark and like magical. It has multiplayer co-op and uh, yeah, another banger of a game that's about to disappear July 29th or before. That's why I get these games ASAP. Next we got a pure throwback gem of the xbox 360 and it's full house poker honestly i'll be real i do not know how to play poker i remember i tried when i was 13 on my ipod with like a poker app 
I was getting the hang of it, but then, like, I don't know, my intelligence was not up to par. But one of these days, I'm gonna get around to learn it again. But Full House Poker is a classic because not only it's like obviously you could play multiplayer with other people, but it was based around Xbox 360 avatars. Like, I don't know, Xbox games that included the avatars made it so special, in my opinion, because it just gave another level of interaction, personality to the game. But yeah, Full House Poker, not on the Xbox One and etc. Must cop before it's gone forever. And honestly, I think I'm gonna buy it like right now. And fucking really start learning how to play poker because I want to get into this shit. Next game we got is called Battlezone. This game, Battlezone, I swear to God, I played a Flash game super similar to this. Five bucks more or less, Canadian, $3.99 taxes maybe like five bucks but like this game i swear i've played something like this on the flash this screen exact this screen is basically a tank game you shoot over you go around and you shoot each other type shit it's a nice arcade game multiplayer another simple arcade game to pass the time digital only of course and get it quick all right, next game we got on the list is Fancy Pants Adventures. Yo, dude, only the OGs remember the Fancy Pants Flash games. Holy crap, what a throwback. Honestly, I didn't even know they had an Xbox game of this. Like, damn. But yeah, Fancy Pants Adventures, 10 bucks. Get it while you can. Not on the Xbox One. And damn, it looks just like the Flash game. Not gonna lie, but yo, definitely cop this before it's too late. Such a classic. Next, we got Batman Arkham City. Yo, I've seen this game for a hot minute, man. Batman Arkham City. I've seen a lot of gameplay off of it. Look, 22,000 reviews. Like, I feel like this deserves a remaster or a backward compatibility version. But this is another banger. Only 20 bucks and definitely worth copying. Destroy All Humans Path of Furon. I'm pretty sure this is the only Destroy All Humans game not on Xbox One and Future Generations. I could be wrong, but Path of Furon, another classic from a classic franchise, Destroy All Humans. Honestly, I've never really played them, but definitely worth considering getting. Next game on the list is Brink, another OG Xbox 360 game. There's story mode, multiplayer, and co-op. And uh, yeah, get it while you can. Lego Marvel. Yo, honestly, can't go wrong with Lego games. Lego Marvel, one of the very few Lego games that don't have a remaster or a backwards compatibility port for the future consoles. But yeah, for 20 bucks, I say it's a good investment. Can't go wrong with Lego games. Alright, this game, Sonic the Hedgehog, the first from 2006. Yo, I swear I played this with my neighbor back in the day. Split screen. And yo, this was hella fun, and I can't wait to get back into it, but another beautiful game that should be on the next-gen consoles that isn't. So definitely copy before it's too late. Another classic, Cars, the first Cars. Played this on the PlayStation. Damn, I gotta rewatch the movies. I haven't watched them in a minute, but yeah, Cars 1, the first. Oh, another classic, Crash Mind Over Mutant. Honestly, I haven't played this one too much compared to the next game I'm about to show, but man, Crash Bandicoot always kills it. And if you're a fan of the franchise, this is a must cop before it gets delisted. And the next one, Crash of the Titans. This game is such a blast. I had such a blast playing this on my PlayStation 2 back in the day. Crash of the Titans. The gameplay is such a beautiful beat-em-up type of style, and I just fucking love it. Next, we got Eternal Sonata. This game... Damn, honestly, I might cop it soon. This game reminds me of like a like an old Genshin Impact. It's like an anime style RPG game. And it looks pretty fun, not gonna lie. Definitely consider getting it. Up next, we got Ratatouille. Honestly, this is another classic game I like to play. This game reminds me of like the style of like Shrek 2. Like a Disney classic cartoon movies that turn into games. It's like a simple story game based off the movie Ratatouille. And honestly, I just had a blast playing it. It's like a nice laid back type of puzzle story game. Definitely deserves to be on the next gen consoles. Up next, we got Sonic and Sega Racing. Honestly, this kind of reminds me of like, like Mario Kart. But yeah, Sonic and Sega Racing, not backwards compatible. 
definitely cop this. There's still multiplayer. And yeah. Next game we got is Fez. Honestly, Fez is such a beautiful masterpiece of a game. Honestly, I find it's a sick adventure game with a dope 3D aspect to a 2D game. Or 3D? I don't know. Probably both type. <laughs> But yeah, for 10 bucks, it's a steal, honestly. Even though it's on Steam, it's only on Xbox 360 regarding Xbox consoles. All right, I consider these like honorable mentions, but Kinect games. There's a lot of Kinect games that are just digital only. Forget, uh, they're obviously like, not backwards compatible, but majority of these are digital only. And honestly, some of them, a lot of them are free. So, yo, fuck it. Download them, own them. And if you have a Kinect, cool. And if you don't, you at least you'll have it, like, owned. So once you get a Kinect like me, I don't have one, at least you'll own it. And you'll be able to play it whenever. But the first Kinect game that I recommend, Avatar Kinect. Free to use. And it's just a simple game, you know? Express yourself with your Xbox avatar. You just fuck around with your avatar type thing. Not sure if multiplayer is still up. I hope it is. But it's a good game to have. Free. Add to your collection. Digital collection. And yeah. Next game we got is Airband. <laughs> and it basically it's like an air guitar and like drums type thing. Like, I don't know. It's like a funny type game. Yeah, like I said, free to download. Digital only. And another classic great game that we're about to lose in a month's time next game we got is boxing fight another dope connect game that we're about to lose it's only 199 not free but dope boxing game now i, I can't wait to get the connect because like i'll let you guys on a little secret i've never used the connect so games like this it's gonna be such an experience to play for the first time and yeah bro like uh, the connect was like ahead of its time is well, not really but uh, long live the connect and the last game that I recommend that is not backwards compatible is Fruit Ninja Connect, the classic game from the iPod or iOS game. Arguably one of the best Connect games out there to get before they're gone forever. 10 bucks, definitely worth it. And yeah, slice and dice some fruits. Sling slang. <laughs> I, these next few games I just want to mention because even though they're on modern Xbox consoles, they still have different servers and different versions to them. So in case you guys are interested in that, where you want to play with Xbox 360 players specifically and just have those servers and or play the Xbox 360 versions of these games, definitely consider getting these. So first game that I recommend getting is Call of Duty Ghosts. Call of Duty Ghosts, honestly, I feel like it's an underrated Call of Duty. And I learned that apparently the Xbox One servers and Xbox 360 servers are totally different. So 360 players are playing with 360 and Xbox One playing with Xbox One. So if you're interested in trying to find maybe a match or two on the Xbox 360, definitely consider getting it. And the same with Advanced Warfare. The two Call of Duties that I recommend that have different servers between consoles. And yeah. Next, we got Borderlands 1 and 2. I remember the other month I was playing and I actually found people playing Borderlands 1. And then I learned it's only 360 members on the 360 and vice versa with the Xbox One. So yeah, Borderlands 1 and 2 classic games. I recommend getting them for the 360 if you're interested in them versions. Next, we got Destiny 1. Honestly, I don't know too much about Destiny, but I researched that there's two different servers, Xbox One and the 360. So one or the other might be more populated than the other one so honestly this is me personally i would always pick the older 360 versions because that's just like where it started you know and it's very possible that there's more players in some of these games on the 360 than the xbox one so definitely check them out next we got red dead redemption red dead redemption another game where the two servers are different and also by the way like even though they're more or less the same game on the two consoles xbox one the, the advantage of playing it on xbox one is it's potentially could be more stable with higher fps and a bit better graphics ish but going the og where it came from type beat xbox 360 with the xbox 360 servers and last but not least my beloved 
one of my favorites minecraft xbox 360 version honestly this does not need any more explanation my favorite minecraft version of all time still has dedicated xbox 360 servers only i highly recommend getting it before it's gone Alright, these are delisted games that exist only on disc and modern Xbox consoles. This is to get some additions for your Xbox 360 physical collection, as well as playing the 360 version of these games. And also, these games are going to go up in prices, especially when the marketplace shuts down. So get them while you can on eBay or at pawn shops and wherever you can grab them, honestly. And the first game that I recommend is the one and only Blur. Yo, Blur, man, it's... I wish it was, like, backwards compatible. Blur is such a good racing game. The graphics and gameplay are so beautiful, and I highly recommend getting it before the price is skyrocket. But yeah, Blur, man, such a gem. Next we got is the Simpsons game. Yo, the Simpsons game, honestly, I love this game. I played it so much on the PlayStation 2. And honestly now, it's hard to get. It's pretty expensive on eBay. And honestly, I just love the art style and the gameplay itself. And yeah, it's honestly a must have in my opinion. And yo, I'm still trying to get me a copy myself. So definitely get it. Next we got Battlefield Bad Company 2. Battlefield Classic Series. The online just shut down last December and another great game to play will definitely fortify your Xbox 360 collection. No cap! Next we got are the pure classics, classical classics of Halo 3 and Halo Reach. Honestly, no question about it. Halo 3, Halo Reach, beautiful games. Definitely cop them. They're delisted. Even on Xbox One, you, you literally need the disc to play this, so unless you already bought it digitally, but yeah, Halo 3, Halo Reach, must cop. Alright, next we got a franchise that is not unfamiliar to any Xbox 360 player, and it's the Call of Duty series, aka Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. Highly recommend getting them on disc. I find an Xbox 360 physical collection is not complete without at least a couple of call of duty games so definitely get these classics next we got is dark souls 1 dark souls 1 fucking throwback of a game i'm still yet to play it honestly i've played elden ring i fucking i fucking raged on that shit mate but yeah dark souls 1 delisted but i'm pretty sure you could get it on xbox one but yeah for the physical aspect of the 360 it's only on cd as of now Next we got is Dirt 3. Dirt 3, dope card game. Honestly, I, I need to re-download it. I've downloaded it with live with live gold back in the day. Yeah, Dirt 3, definitely a dope game. Family Guy Back to the Multiverse. This game graphical wise is very similar to the Simpsons game, if not pretty similar. It has the same like graphics. And yeah, another dope game that's unfortunately delisted. I honestly I haven't played it a lot. I definitely played it a couple times, but yeah, I definitely need to get this as well for my physical collection. But yeah, Family Guy Back to the Multiverse. Next we got is Xbox Live Arcade. Yo, this game, this or this disc, honestly comes in handy because not only you get all these dope games, but especially Uno, arguably the most popular game on this disc, is the only way to get Uno these days. I'm pretty sure, unless there's a Uno disc I don't know about, but if you guys don't have Uno, this is like the only way to get it these days, is through the Xbox Live Arcade disc. But yeah, including Uno, you got all these other games to play, and yeah, man, it's pretty dope. Next we got is a pure classic, GTA San Andreas. Can't go wrong with it in your collection, honestly. Pure swag, definitely cop it. This game is so fucking... I have this game for a minute. Lollipop Chainsaw. Dude, not on Xbox One. Only on the 360. So it's technically rare and technically like pretty expensive or gonna get pretty expensive. But Lollipop Chainsaw, another classic that's been around for years. And definitely consider getting this before the prices get high. 
Midnight Club Los Angeles. This game was pretty fucking dope. Me and my sister had a blast on this. I, I, I see this as like a GTA open world game, but with cars. You do drag races and you drive around town going to point A to B. I fuck with it. Honestly, it's a fucking dope game. I definitely cop it. Next, we got is Left 4 Dead. Honestly, Left 4 Dead is one of them zombie games that has been around for years and has made its mark in the zombie world. Even though it's delisted for the 360, you can still get it on disc and on Xbox One. So definitely consider adding it to your 360 collection. And last game that I recommend that is delisted is a pure classic WWE Smackdown vs. Raw 2008. Hot damn, bro. I remember playing this shit on the PS2. And honestly, I remember, like, my favorite aspect was, like, customizing my own character, yo. That shit was dope. But, yo, WWE SmackDown vs. Raw, man. This is, like, probably, arguably the best WWE game on fucking ever. Honestly, pure classic. Me and my sis had a blast on this shit back in the day, bro. And, yo, definitely get this, yo. I know. Alright, so this first category has two games that I recommend. They're more or less the same type of genre, like action, decision making, and very heavily storyline based. And the first game that I recommend is The Walking Dead, the game that's based on the TV series. Honestly, I haven't played it a lot, but I know my sister really likes it. It's definitely a game worth having if you're a fan of The Walking Dead, first off. Second game I recommend is The Wolf Among Us. Never played it, but the art style seems pretty dope, not gonna lie. So I'll probably cop that too. And it's made by the same makers of The Walking Dead. So if you like The Walking Dead, it's probably going to be another game that you might enjoy. So if you already enjoyed playing The Walking Dead, you're most likely going to enjoy this game. Also, once again, before I continue, make sure you type the full game name because sometimes it's really hard to find them despite writing the keywords. So for example, The Wolf Among Us, write the whole name because as you will see real soon, it's not even the first game to pop up. For some reason, Batman is there. <laughs> but scrolling a bit, you'll find it 2013 right here. And it's free to download. All right, moving on to the next category, action slash adventure. And these two first games, I feel like I'm lacking. I should have really downloaded them a while ago. And I'm going to play them after this video. But Crackdown 1 and 2 free to play and looking at these games on youtube and all look hella fun honestly they even got their online services still up apparently so definitely worth checking out but you can find both games just by typing crackdown as you can see crackdown one crackdown two yeah these are two games i actually really want to play like i've never tried them so i'm definitely going to play these two after next game we got is crimson alliance now this game you know what this game reminds me of it reminds me of uh like marvel's marvel's game marvel alliance but like wizardy and more magical it's a great co-op game and once again to find this game you gotta type the whole name in and yeah seems pretty dope i'm not sure if the multiplayer is still online and if it is it's probably real hard to find players but it definitely seems like a really fun co-op game damn all right, next game on the list is a pure classic once again that i'm yet to play is resident evil revelations 2 now if you're a fan of the resident evil series this game is definitely for you the storyline the gore the darkness of it would bring any horror fan to their feet <laughs> fine you can just type re revelations 2 damn this keyboard to type man <laughs> i love it but damn it takes a minute but yeah, Resident Evil Revelations 2, definitely a cop. Definitely a cover art I've seen for literally over a decade and never tried playing this game. I don't know, it's not really my type of thing, but for Resident Evil fans, this is a must cop. And yeah. Next game is a pretty dope game called Too Human. It's another storyline, adventure, exploring type of game. And I don't know, I find it's crazy. Like games like this, they look so dope and it's free. Like I say like, why not, you know? Free up a bit of space on your hard drive, download them. And yo, you got like hundreds and hundreds of hours of gameplay to play. Another game I look forward to playing, honestly. All right, category three arcade style games one of my favorite categories so first game on that list hexic hd 
Now, if you're not familiar with Hexic HD, it's one of the OGs that almost every kid had on their Xbox at some point in time. It's a very simple game. You gotta like twist the gems and make like threes and just clear off the board. But yeah, it's a nice uh, little puzzle game. Good pastime. Collect a few achievements here and there. And yeah, Hexic HD, a certified hood classic. Damn, son. Next game is Harm's Way. Honestly, I've had this game for like since the beginning of fucking time. I've never, I've never played it a lot, honestly. But it's a good carnage, uh, it's a good carnage racing game, shooter game, and it's definitely unique because it's not just like a regular race. Like there's racers and then there's like sniper shooters, like shooters that shoot the cars to like fuck them up or kill them, you know. And it's a cool uh, western type of game. It reminds me a lot of that one game, um, Flat Out but with like no shooting. Definitely a cop, you know, as multiplayer still up, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, another great game to have in your library for sure. Next game is a hella dope game. I was playing like last night that I just discovered is Aegis Wing. Aegis, Aegis, Aegis. I don't oh, know, but honestly, this is one of my favorite genres of video games too. It's like 2D side shooter type thing, like space. Like, you know, where you're shooting uh, spaceships and, pow and doing power-ups and there's bosses after every round and it's a dope game, man. And there's up to four players. Co-op. I could definitely see how crazy this would be on a co-op. But yeah, I had a blast for a couple hours last night. <laughs> last game in the category, but not least, is the very well-known Doritos Crash Course. Now, if you don't know this game, it's an Xbox 360 avatar-based parkour game where you have to, it's like a wipeout, you know, like wipe out the show. You're basically going through an obstacle course and you need to get to the end. It's still real popular today, like the multiplayer. You could more or less easily find a game online with at least one player. That's weird, it says multiplayer none. No, but there's definitely multiplayer. And yeah, it's a pretty cool game based with your avatars. Like if you want to see them go crazy and do these fucking crazy jumps and all that. But no, honestly, this is a great arcade game. Hella fun. Pretty challenging too, but this is definitely gonna collect you some hours and achievements onto your roster. But yeah, the real crash course must have for 2024 and beyond. All right, this next category took a bit of researching and honestly, it's definitely worth it to play these games for free. It just takes a bit of time, but these are region locked games that you can play for free, except not really the last one with one exception, but the first game is Ikaruga. It's another side scrolling type of space shooter game. I got it recently, but I haven't tried it yet. But yo, this is another dope uh, side scroller. But the exception is it's only free in Argentina. Now, if you live in Argentina, that's cool. You have no problem downloading it for free but what you're gonna want to do is make a brand new email account i use hotmail and outlook because that's what xbox recommends and you're gonna want to make an account with the region in argentina so as you see right here i'm making a an account based in argentina so boom 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 then you go to the store you look up ikaruga and it's gonna be free for download instead of paid for download <laughs> But yeah, it takes a bit of time, but you got to make a brand new account, download it, and it's going to be on your hard drive. So you can easily download it, then transfer it to your main account and play it. Next game is Metal Slug 3. Once again, didn't try it, but I got it. <laughs> and it's only free in Israel. So make a brand new account, an email. And once you set your region up to Israel, go back in the marketplace. Once you're done creating your account, look up Metal Slug 3. And as you can see, now it's free to download. And guys, don't worry, you're not going to get banned for doing this. I don't see why you would, honestly, but I was fine. And yeah, the last game on this list is Sensible World of Soccer. Honestly, yo, this game looks hella fun. But unfortunately, I tried making a new email and account based in Korea. And it was giving me this error saying, verify your age. Please verify your age. I was doing some research and turns out there's new laws in Korea where you must verify your age to play games. But I tried and it's actually fucking wild. Trying to verify your age, you gotta go to the Korean Xbox like subdomain type thing. And then it's literally gonna pop up like Korean... um. As you can see, I was trying it here, like, it's gonna pop up Korean, like, logins that, I guess, are meant to verify your age. But yeah, unless you live in Korea, 
There's no way to play this for free unless you buy it. Alright, now we're going to check out some free demos that I recommend if you're on a budget or just want to try out some Xbox 360 games before purchasing. And some of these come with an unlockable surprise. So, first one is Pac-Man Championship Edition. And talk about unlockable surprises. As you start the demo up, you get this gamer pick. Hell yeah. But yeah, Pac-Man Championship Edition. You know, simple Pac-Man game. Honestly, it's hell intense. I actually fucking love it. Next up is All Pro Football 2K8. Simple football game. You know, if you don't really care about making a whole roster and just want to play a couple games, this is definitely worth it. Next we got is College Hoops 2K7. Honestly, I would have recommended FIFA and NHL as well, but football and basketball were really the only sports I see that's worth getting and that I could find. But yeah, college hoops, basketball game, play a couple games here and there. That's about it. Next we got is Dig Dug. Simple 8-bit pixel game, tight beat. And another game that comes with an unlockable gamer pick as you start the game. So pretty fucking swaga if you ask me. This game, Alien Hominid HD. Fucking beautiful fun trial game honestly i think i'm gonna buy the full game but the demo is definitely worth it like it truly puts the whole game in basically a nutshell for you shoot him up beat him up type of game with beautiful graphics next we got is the one and only skate 3 demo another game that honestly if you don't really care to play online or do progression and just want to free play this definitely comes in handy a certified hood classic indeed. Dead Rising. Another mindless game where you just want to basically keep it simple. Shoot zombies, hit zombies, survive, throw them off you. That's about it. <laughs> Next we got is Forza Horizon 2 Demo. If a racing game, if you just want to play a couple of races, get the feel of Forza, and uh, yeah. And last but not least, we got is Quake Arena Arcade. And once again, as you load the game up, you get not one, but three unlockable gamer picks at your disposal. All right, next we're gonna go through the free DLCs you need to get on your Xbox 360. Now, I'm not sure if all of them are backwards compatible, like meaning it's in the Xbox One store. But I know for a fact there's a couple that are not, so let's check it out. So first pack that I recommend is the Red Dead Redemption packs. There's currently five packs that are free. Legends and Killers pack, Myths and Mavericks bonus pack, Liars and Cheats, Hunting and Trading, allows to the end co-op mission pack not sure if it's on xbox one but honestly for the xbox 360 users i wouldn't chance it don't even have to download it for now you know just own it so you could have it in your download history next we got fable 3 traders keep quest pack free definitely get it you also have other add-ons such as dog breed set yule hat free weapons soldier outfit voiceover but yeah regarding the dlc traders keep quest pack definitely cop that next full house poker season 13 pack free this i'm pretty sure it's not no this one is not on xbox one so definitely get it next we got halo reach map packs definitely get them for custom matchmaking and custom games and yo it's halo reach you know free anniversary pack define map pack next we got halo 3 cold storage map heroic map pack legendary map pack mythic one and two map pack so quite a few free ones to get all right next we got plants vs zombies garden warfare dlc yeah we got a few map we got a few dlcs here 
pretty sure it's on xbox one of these but even though if, even though if they're backwards compatible you know it's like i also like to give these this information out for strictly xbox 360 users as well so even if it is backwards compatible it's always good to have if you want to play on your 360 one day and yeah last we got gears of war two map packs multiplayer map pack two and multiplayer pack one must cop hell yeah it for dlcs all right now we're gonna check out xbox 360 dlcs that are not on xbox one so if you don't own these before the marketplace shuts down you will not be able to get them on xbox one because despite it being delisted in the xbox one store you can still install it via xbox one if you own it i can confirm i tested it out with a dlc from castle crashers and it's installable on xbox one so first dlc that is only available on xbox 360 is sonic generations casino night pinball and the good thing about this one is that it's free so get it asap next we got is spelunky explorers dlc and arenas dlc two dlcs unavailable for future xbox consoles next we got is four dlc packs unavailable on xbox one from castle crashers and it's king pack blacksmith pack pink knight pack and necromantic pack next we got is n plus honestly the only way i could see playing this on xbox one is possible is if you download it via your own games because honestly i couldn't search this within the engine but the dlc packs that are only on xbox 360 is level pack 1 level pack 2 and level pack 3 three dlcs on the xbox 360 and level pack 3 is free up next is the maw there's a couple of dlcs here so first one deleted scene river redirect speeder lane and brute force three dlcs to get asap and last dlc is from dark souls the first artorias of the abyss only on xbox 360 i think we're gonna start off just by exploring the marketplace itself and then i'm gonna show you guys some tips and tricks on how to do better searches and how to find your own um gamer picks so instead of searching for gamer pictures right now we're just gonna go to browse games in the game section right here browse games and there's a little section called gamer picks you could filter them by like downloads release date user rating and this is the best spot to find gamer pictures if you don't know what you're searching for see i've always seen team dzn fantasy ones like these gamer pictures i never got them these look sick not even that expensive either I mean, two bucks. I mean, I guess, yo, the console kings ones, those are the craziest. Like the crowns and all, they make some sick ass gamer pictures. The anime ones, yo, there was one I wanted to explore. Yeah, the horror ones, yo, these ones look so sick. Honestly, I might even get them. Bro, look at them. Look at the background. Also, like, I'm gonna be like saying some obvious things that not everybody might know. But like, you know, when you go to like this screen on the top right corner, you're going to see like pictures. Like usually they display what they look like the gamer pictures. And that's like what I use as a guide and stuff. These are pretty sick, the skulls. But yeah, if you ever want to know like what you're getting out of these pics, usually they put them on the top right corner there. If, if they don't, it's a bit iffy. I don't know. You're not really sure what you're getting and stuff. Majority of the time, these companies are going to put them on the top. Epic Dark Angels picture pack. Yo. Hold up oh that's sick first i don't see myself putting that on but yeah these are sick i'm telling you guys there's so much variety to get and like this is the time to get the gamer pictures before it's too late you know the xbox 360 marketplace is about to be shut down in less than a year so and if you want to see my recent video about that just check the link in the description or top right corner yo mlg packs these are sick yeah these ones are og as fuck especially the second one right there let's see downloads top downloads gta yeah, of course yo those go hard i'm surprised i never got them alien hominoid ones hominid ones go crazy now i'm not sure how to find um oh these are sick i'm not sure how to find free gamer pick whoops 
not sure how to find free gamer pictures. There's not really, there's not a, like a filter for that, but I'm sure you could find some gamer pictures that are free. I don't know. I don't know how I, I think they're all bought majority of mine, but if they were free, I looked fucking hella hard for them. Also, here's another tip. If you want to um, check out the gamer pictures for your specific games, you go to my games. And um, like, for example, let's see here, uh, Minecraft, press X for game details. And in the extra section, not only is it gonna show you the gamer picks, but it's gonna show you like themes, packs, DLCs, trailers. Like, check this out. Like, these are like add-ons for the game where it says the controller thing. Uh, this is a trial, the full game. These are add-ons, skin pack, blah, blah, blah. Um, you see when it has this icon, gamer picture. So it's like Minecraft brewing. It's like, I don't know, Minecraft, I'm assuming it's like potions and shit. Yeah, you see it on the top right there? Yeah, that's what you're getting out of it. Yeah, that's, a, that's another cool tip to find some gamer pictures through your games. If you, I don't know, can't find a specific one or, yeah. All right, now check this out. I'm going to showcase my, uh, my gamer pictures because they're fucking swag. And I want you guys to have them too. And I'm going to show you guys how to get them if you don't know what they're called. So you're going to want to go to system settings storage and go to wherever your profile is stored so probably hard drive and there's a gamer picture section now if you don't know like the title of your pack this is where you find them and you can also go and purchase history but that's like a bit of a minute to find them but yeah these are all my gamer pictures i'm gonna pop them up on the screen like as i go by them so this badass beauty one this one's sick i find it's underrated i found it like a long time ago probably like 2016 2015 type beat uh, I, I rocked the fucking Red, Red Riding Hood one for a minute. Or at least she looks like Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot. This one's sick. This one is, I don't know. There's like, I think there's like two or three of them. It has Crash and another one. Pretty dope. We're checking out. Crisis is sick. It has like that little fade. That little fade on the top corner. Top, uh, like the top uh, right corner. That's like, it like fades your gamer shit. I don't know. Digital Blasphemy, this one's sick. It's the planet ones I was showcasing last time. Some cool planet gamer pictures. Definitely worth checking out. E-Bunnies, this was one of my favorite ones. E-Bunnies, these baddies. You know, motherfuckers that like anime and all these like cartoon girls type shit. Recommend this one. Yo, oh, this one, Epic Death. This is one I just got. So yeah, I see it's already here. Extended Gamer Picture Pack Rebel 2. This is the one that like majority of you guys are gonna want. Get this one. This is the one that's displayed currently on my profile. Fucking ultimate swag, honestly. These are sick as fuck. Fear 2. This one's sick. I like this one a lot. I put this around like Halloween time. I remember I got this one in like 2013. It was fucking way long ago. Minecraft and like Black Ops 2 days when I used to like fuck around. Oh yeah. Flaming Gas one is pretty dope. It's nothing crazy, but recommend checking that one out game picks this one is a bit complicated i did not know which one this is but this one was the anime one that i have like in my collection this one's pretty sick honestly um while you're typing this type gamer picks um arnvol or just type arnvol right there arnvol i couldn't search this in the in the all media section for some reason i couldn't find it but when i typed arnvol like that name you're gonna find it now check this out halo when it says like halo or just the game or even here, let me go back up here. Yeah, like Call of Duty Black Ops, like this one. You cannot get these unless you get an achievement or you play the game and you unlock something. Not sure how it works, but you can't buy you can't buy some of them. Some of them you gotta like play the game and get some achievements. But yeah, so Halo that must have been an achievement or something. Halo 3 picture pack. This one's dope. Basic Halo 3 picture pack and go wrong with Halo. Yo, shout out the background to switch it up for a bit. <laughs> See, like this one, Halo Anniversary Play to Win. This one is an achievement or I think you got to log in on a specific day. I forget. Yo, Modern Warfare 2 Kill Streak pack. This one went hella hard. Fucking 11 out of 10 recommended this one. I just got this one today, actually, just for the video. Minecraft, that's the basic Steve one. You got to play the game, I think, for like a few minutes or something. And then you unlock it. Minecraft faces, this one's sick. It's just like the faces, I would get it. Why not? I've had it for like 10 years. <laughs> MLG number nine picture pack. Can't go wrong with MLG packs, honestly, despite how, I don't know, irrelevant MLG culture must be today. These were some classics that still fucking hold their swag, you know? 
MLG Pub Star pick pack. This one was dope too. MLG Snow Day, I would get this one as well. Like, you know, like winter months, you know, Christmas. Might want to be like a wee bit festive, yeah? <laughs> Let's see. Night Vision, this one's dope. Kind of underrated. Modern Warfare 2 um, gamer picture pack. I'd get this one. That's why, like, you see these you see these names, you just type them in. Except Modern Warfare 3, pay to win, because, like, this is an achievement. But you can just type these in, and you'll find them. Oh, I mixed it up. Okay, Red Faction is the blue and white uh, profile pictures. Yeah, this one's sick. I really like this one. It has, like, I don't know, some, like, cyborg futuristic stuff. Shocktober. This one was all right. Fuck with this one. Base Invaders. This one's, like, hella clean. I got this because it was, like, nice. It's, like aesthetically pleasing i don't know very like pixel type beat meat boy tell us I, re I recommend this one to everybody tell us gamer picture pack like the animals pretty swag not gonna lie like the frog one and stuff yo i'd get that no cap the crowns picture pack volume two this one ma fucking og every og kid needs to have this one yo come on the crowns volume two one of the ogs man um, the Invasion 2 Warfare, this one's dope. It has, it's like a different version of the, the other one, the Gas Mask. Yeah, Flaming Gas. It's like a different uh, version, but in my opinion, it's like better. Pretty cool. Montage Picture Pack. Yo, I'd get this if you guys are like playing like, you know, the old CODs, sniping and stuff. These were like some gamer pictures I used to rock back in the day. Trouble Witches Neo Icon Pack 2. This one went hard, honestly. It kind of has like the same aesthetic-ish to like the Rebel 2 Pack with that one and yeah guys if you wanted to see gamer pictures go to system settings hard drive and locate your gamer pictures if you don't know the name find them you search them up here make sure you change this to media media be way easier to find some all right last but not least we're gonna check out every single one of my gamer pictures throughout the 11 years i've been using my xbox account man I just love the art of gamer pictures and like collecting them. It's like collectibles, you know? I don't know. I just find it hella sick and it's like going to be obsolete one day. It's like not going to exist this type of culture one day. Now, like I said in previous videos, you could just take any picture from the internet and put it as your profile picture, you know? It's easy to find them. Discover them. And look at these OG gamer pictures. Everybody had these, obviously. but <laughs> Yeah, this is the one I was talking about, the Halo anniversary one man ghost <laughs> okay this one okay this might actually be a pack from the halo original halo pack yeah yeah modern warfare 2 one goes crazy kill streak one yeah. <laughs> oh it's actually pretty sick this one's cool og one uh, look how clean these are that the, the asteroids one crash bandicoot <laughs> Yeah, I forgot where this one's from. I think it's a Canada. Oh no, Spooktober. Minecraft. OG oh, Minecraft one. Reels Crash Course. Hell yeah. Black Ops one. Man, I fucking miss this whole generation. This whole era. It's, I don't know. It's about to be gone. Crowns. Oh yeah. These crowns. Gas mask. Other gas masks one. Check these ones out. These ones are sick. I prefer these ones. Like this one I had a lot. The white background. And Halo. Another Halo pack. This? I don't know where this one's from. I do not know where these are from, honestly. Might have to do a bit of research on that. E-bunnies. Fucking. Your drip a dose of gleam of swag. Fear ones. These are crooking Litskies. Red faction. That's what I was talking about. See, look how cool that is. I don't know. It's like some AI shit. And these, I have no idea. You see, like, if I really wanted to, I could really, like, I don't know, check and match the packs, but it's kind of hard when I go back. Crisis 2. So I was talking about the faded in the corner. Hell yeah. Anime one goes hard. And I had this one a lot. And this one. It's 
space, man. I miss all these gamer pictures. I miss going through this menu. Hell yeah. It's crazy because I also remember the order of them. Not like, like you know, each and every one. But as I go by this whole menu, I remember like... Okay, like these circle ones were below the Hunger Games ones, you know? It's like, I don't know, it's such nostalgic memories. Gillette Fusion. <laughs> like, <laughs> man, that would be funny to put as you know, the tennis players. Tiger Woods going crazy. Yeah. Halo Gingerbread. Halo. The OG. When you see this gamer picture, you know it's Copatino on that bitch. Man, I used to put this one too. I like this one a lot. These are sick as fuck, man. And this one I bought today on the video. E fresher than a motherfucking Freshington. <sighs> Extended gamer picks. Alright, guys, definitely get these before it's too late. Alien Homicide HD Pudding Boss Picture Pack. Comes with five picks as displayed on the top right. Not too shabby, honestly. Next, Angry Fike. Fight? Fight? Picture pack by Alien Homicide HD. Hella dope classic gamer pick pack. And last, an Alien Homicide classic picture pack too. I recommend getting. Oh yeah. Alright, next we got Castle Crashers Animal Pack. This, I've seen it in multiple profiles. Such a dope pack. This isn't display here, but I bought it just to show you guys. Comes with five picks. And oh yeah, animals. Next we got the OG phase pick packs. Phase pick pack number one. We got the phase logos. Pure classic. And phase pack number two. More phase logos. These next ones I found are pretty interesting. I fuck with them. <laughs> Epic Cats picture pack. <laughs> this is funny. This is dope. Like kitties as your profile pick. Yo. And Epic Picture Pack 4. Honestly, out of the four cat packs, I found one in four like the best. So, yeah. Get him. Next, we got Epic Space Picture Pack. Simple space, ambience type beat. I fuck with it. Pretty cool. Another Epic Picture Pack. Zombie Girl Picture Pack. I fuck with these. They're kind of like scary, like emo goth type beat. Why not? Yo, this one, Epic Dragon, this is very, like, medieval type B. I fuck with this. I would get it if I, I don't know. I was, like, an RPG or Skyrimmer type B. <laughs> and last of the Epic Anime Picture Pack 1. Not too bad. Classic that I've seen over the years. And it comes with 10 gamer picks. Hell yeah. Alright, now, the, in my opinion, the most classic gamer pictures, and it's Console Kings. First one I recommend is Blink Pack Volume 2. Beautiful, shiny gold and silver gamer pictures. Comes with 10 picks, including these ones. And the second one, Blink Pack 1, with a black background instead of purple. Hell yeah. Next, we got Royal Crowns V2. I'm pretty sure the first one got delisted because I couldn't find it, but Royal Crowns V2. Beautiful royalty that I recommend copying ASAP. This next one is no question. Swag pack. Repping that swag. Definitely cop this classic. Hell yeah. Swag pack three. More swag. The crowns V6. More classic crowns. And I don't know. Rocking a crown like this just screams nostalgia, honestly. Like, damn. These next ones are pretty dope. Zodiac packs V3, V2, and V1. They all come with different Zodiac signs. Got Cancer, Sagittarius, Scorpio, etc. Hell yeah. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? Shooter pack V1. Pretty dope reticles. Why not? Swag. Razor wire crowns. Crowns with razors around them. Fuck with it. OG pack. Talk about OG. Pure classic from back in the day. Neon crowns. Literally glow up your profile. And my hidden gem for you guys. Console King Soupy Jones picture pack. I fuck with this heavy. I honestly bought it myself just now. 
and yo this is a classic hidden gem that i personally love hell yeah These are not all the gamer pictures on the marketplace. I found the best free ones, the best ones, but there's a couple that are just like too like brand oriented or ad oriented. I was like, nah, it's not really worth to get, but that's why I just compiled the best ones together that I thought were swag enough to cop. Also, these gamer picks are gonna be primarily only in the marketplace, so make sure you stick around to the end because there's a couple of bonuses I wanna show you guys. But this video is primarily about gamer pictures within the marketplace. Another thing that's good to know is that these gamer pictures are still gonna be available to download after the marketplace shuts down in your download history. So that's why like you need to own it first to obviously make it pop up in your download history. So even when the marketplace is not down and you so happen to delete it, you can go back to your download history and re-download it onto your console. That's why we gotta get him, you know? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give you guys a couple of tips before, like, to maximize your searches. So first tip is you want to go to a random, even your, even if it's on your, like a game, like my games, hover over a gamer pack, click more options. No, wait, not more options. Click the pack. Once this pops up, you're going to want to go to extras and see everything this company and this game has released. This is not only like limited to games. There's some companies out there like Console Kings, uh, Xbox 360 community that have like a whole library if you do this so as you can see i have the gingerbread man gamer pick you know like other add-ons the map packs bungee theme you know like this is another way to make your searches easier so you just go to the extras tab unfortunately some of them don't have the extras tab available but if they do definitely use it to your advantage all right second tip is definitely optional but if you want to make it easier to follow your marketplace with my marketplace because during the video i'm going to be showing the pages and you know it's gonna be easier to follow okay this is on page uh 200 okay let me go to page 200 if you want to like follow the video like to its maximum potential <laughs> i suggest making an account with the region based in canada because my region is based in canada and this marketplace is technically like the canadian one so it has a specific order to it so if you want to follow the video to its fullest potential type thing i suggest doing that all right this next tip is very important to my opinion because people tend to like just give up on the first couple of tries but as you can see here i'm typing in indigo prophecy and as you're about to see this is giving me an error over and over and over and over this tends to happen honestly at random the marketplace is just so unstable so it's gonna give you errors a lot and Honestly, what I found out is if you keep pressing it over and over, there's a chance that it's just going to get to the download page, you know? So if you get an error three, four times in a row, I would still keep trying like until like the 15th or 20th time. These errors are like false positives. So once you see them, don't give up, guys. Keep trying. And like I said, if it reaches like the 20th time, I guess it's RIP for that pack. And last but not least, we're going to filter the gamer picks by top downloads because not only these are the top downloads but because once you keep going like they're gonna automatically change to um alphabetical order so it's top downloads mixed with like title names see like b b b b it's already like alphabetical order here it's gonna be c real soon c you see oh you see <laughs> no pun intended <laughs> but yeah sort by top downloads make your life easier big swag all right so let's get on to the fucking video so first you're gonna want to go to browse games gamer picks and right off the bat release date these first few gamer pictures are totally free x mystery holiday gamer pick boom cop that gift box gamer pick regular box you know fuck it <laughs> ginger man gingerbread man gamer pick goes hard classic one reindeer holiday one from hexic 2 nice little christmas winterish theme and xbox fear santa hat another nice little winterish holiday type of gamer pick very swag all right next we got alien isolation also guys majority of the time make sure you type the entire title out because if you type just half the word or whatnot very big chance it won't pop up so make sure you type in the whole name of the game or pack just to make sure yeah, Alien Isolation. This one's pretty sick, honestly. I like the green, uh, like, Yoi V type of look. 
not going to lie also got this robot one this girl this guy title thing moon thing <laughs> logo alien and this guy honestly just download both of them packs and uh, you should have all of them this next one the outfit man bro this is like i've seen this gamer pick so many times like holy crap these two not not the yellow one but the 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 soldier bro pure classic Man, people don't understand, like, gamer picks, bro, like, they define who is playing behind the screen, bro, like, like, the bubble, the bubblegum boy, like, man, those motherfuckers were ruthless back in the day, whoever had that gamer picture, like, your boy did, like, it was like, ha <laughs> yo, don't mess with them, bro, or like, the panda one, you know, like, casual gamer type beat, like, I feel like gamer picks back in the day really gave people, like, such an identity, you know, like, it defined you, <laughs> man what an iconic era all right next one tell us gamer picture pack now this one i'm pretty sure it's only within canada so this is why i strongly suggest making an account with the region in canada so you could find more or less the same packs as me with the same order and you have nice little animals <laughs> as uh gamer picks this next one stride holy shit i actually haven't had a stride gum in a minute but i find these pretty sick not gonna lie if your name is like sebastian or samantha sam or like to represent your gamer tag with an S or just want to be the goat. That's actually hard as fuck. Definitely a cop. All right, next we got Fusion Frenzy, a classic that I have never played, but the gamer pictures look fucking lit. Honestly, bro. The girl, this guy, this girl, maybe this guy. I think this guy and the Fusion Frenzy like title, obviously, but yeah, definitely a cop. Fable picture pack this one is actually so sick i'm pretty sure it's these four this green alien thing this thing this other green thing and this dude bro these go hella hard definitely a fucking steal of a price <laughs> oh man next we got crimson skies picture pack see this is what i mean like xbox should have like mentioned which picks go to which pack Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's these simple grayed out packs. Not too shabby, honestly. You know, they're like normal type beat. Fuck it. Next is Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Vortex. This one is crazy, bro. It gives you four gamer picks, Nitro, Apple, Crash Bandicoot, and Logo. Next, we got community gamer picks pack one this is one of my favorites honestly i used to rock these a lot back in the day like a lot bro and fortunate enough for us they actually show what's gonna be in the pack very fucking rare so man bro these are honestly a throwback for your boy champions of gaming picture pack i'm pretty sure this is the gillette and like tennis uh one that i had from back in the day you want to rep gillette or the letter g with the tennis players and oh wait yeah tiger woods yo <laughs> this is definitely a pack for you honestly i don't know i would say like fuck it download all of them you know it's like they're like kilobytes in size and they're free you know like might as well just like collect them fuck it this one canada day 2007 i'm pretty sure it's just a canadian flag okay you see this is where it gets okay i don't know if it's just the canadian flag this one or the rest of these i know this is canada for sure but look at this bro this bat this halo looking guy type beat bro these ones this is a canadian pack too i'm not sure if it's the same pack i'm showing right now but it's possible i would say fuck it try to get it but if it's not none of these it's this last one with the canadian flag next axe twist gamer pick pack this one's pretty dope it's like some abstract greenery type shit or like some cool axe twist title fuck it also has an orange like abstract one too definitely a cool one to get next w of a pack is axe hair gamer pick pack honestly bro i have a feeling you guys are gonna like this one this one is pretty sick bro it got the axe in red got this couple in red and it got this girl bro this is a cop bro three gamer picks for free bro i'll just swag that's why some of these brand gamer picks are hella underrated. I wish some of them were not delisted so I could show them off too. Or get them, you know? Like, remember that Wendy's one? Man, I've seen so many people with the Wendy's one. <laughs> All right. And last but not least, GTA 4 picture pack for free. Ultimate cop. You get the Rockstar Games pack. You get Nico. 
get the four and you get the girl. Some real throwback ones. All right, bonus. These are some honorable mentions if you have these games. These are free gamer pictures you can unlock hella easy or by doing certain things in these games. There's not much I'm going to showcase, but these are the ones I acquired. So first is Hexic HD. All you got to do is load up the game and you get like fucking, you get 10 free gamer picks. These are actually such a throwback. Holy crap. And funny thing is, I just recently unlocked it. I've never had these ever back in the day. <laughs> Next is Dorito Crash Course. Starting it up unlocks you these two gamer picks. Ultra Swag Classic. Peggle, pretty sure all you gotta do is load it up. Get the P. <laughs> Get the P. <laughs> Next is Minecraft. This, the Steve one, I don't think you unlock it as soon as you play it. I, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. It's possible that you unlock it after playing an hour. Apparently, you, go, you unlock it after mining redstone, but I think that's false. I have not mined redstone to get this, but yeah, Minecraft on Xbox 360. I'm pretty sure everybody has this. Second camera picture, I'm pretty sure you get this by killing 10 creepers. The achievement, then you unlock this camera pick. Definitely worth getting. This one, the Black Ops 1 um, gamer pick. This gamer pick to get it, um, you need to escape the electric chair in the beginning, and I'm pretty sure you have to go to a computer of some sort, but... Yeah, it's a bit of an easter egg to get it, but definitely worth it. Well, free. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's... Okay, no. One more honorable mention is one that I feel like people just tend to forget sometimes. And it's just making a gamer picture with your avatar. Customize how, however you want, type beat. And just go to gamer picture. Oh, the avatar music. So beautiful. There's a bunch of poses here. Okay. Hey, beat. Damn, there's actually a lot. <laughs> Just my head, imagine. <laughs> but there's advanced mode. Damn, I didn't even know that. That's pretty dope. That's sick. Yeah, there's also advanced mode. Track. Pretty dope. Oh, wait, how do you change the background? I want to know how to do that. The classic hear a noise. Oh, yeah. Okay, so once you select it. Yeah, the backgrounds. Oh, man, I missed this, bro. Seeing people with this. Hot oh, damn. These are so sick, man. Oh my god, dude. But yeah, this was hella overseen, bro. Hella underrated. Making a gamer picture with your avatar? Damn, bro. Honestly, I think I'm gonna make the fire in the back. Where is it? This one. Hell yeah. Use. Gonna be saved. And boom. Save and exit. Or wait. Since it's just been created, you go to profile and it should be there. I think only one avatar gamer picture saves at a time. So if you want to make a new one, you're just going to have to go. Okay, yo, check it out. Already on my gamer picture. Two of them. Bless. But yeah, hella recommended to do. Honestly, since we're here, I've had the same gamer picture for like fucking eight years now. Let's change it up. Oh man, it's so hard to choose a gamer picture, bro. I, you know how many times I just study the gamer pictures and I'm like, fuck, which one do I pick to be the picture, man? Ah, uh, uh, fuck it. Fuck it. We're gonna go with the classic. This choice is such a hard choice. But fuck it, there's no going back for at least a couple of months, bro. The very last beautiful info I'd like to give you guys is to save and to not only save xbox 360 gamer pictures but to also like see how to get them or where they're from you know and it's on a website called xboxgamer.pics now this website honestly is such a golden hidden gem bro like they have literally more or less every single gamer picture and really you could type the id the title name you even do a gamer pick finder so you just upload a gamer pick and it's gonna show you where what it looks like or what game it's from or pack and yo it's so fucking easy to save them all you gotta do is click it save easy this is useful to like you know have it as your discord profile picture or even like xbox one xbox series x profile picture gamer picture my bad so this is an awesome database and website and uh shout out the creators of it for real
All right, so before everything, I'm gonna show you guys the basics. So if you wanna get specific items for a specific game, go to my games, like your games, example, Black Ops 2. And once again, you just go to the extras section and you can find all kinds of things. The props, all the avatar items for this specific game will be listed here. And if you don't have the specific game, you could always search it here and just look up the game you're looking for. That's just a quick tip on how to find specific items. I don't really recommend that way because this is a bit harder to like see what you're really getting because it's not really like, you know, in the avatar store on your specific avatar, you know, it's more just like a picture of what it is, especially the props. Like it doesn't show you the animation. Like you see this helmet, it just shows you a picture. I mean, it is helpful. Yeah, but specifically also for props, it's, it just shows like a picture. So it's a bit risky, but if you really want a Halo Reach or a specific game type of item, you could just do it like that. All right, now real quick, I just want to list a couple of packs that I recommend that you guys get if you don't want to go search it in the Avatar store. So the packs from the games that I recommend are Minecraft, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 2, Halo 3, and Halo Reach. I know it's something crazy, but arguably they're the most popular and iconic avatar items in those packs. So definitely get those before the marketplace shuts down. And yeah, let's go to the avatar store. All right, now the moment you've been waiting for. There's a specific way I found out on how to find items in the avatar store. So when you're looking for the items I'm about to display to you, you must do this for the best results. Now, as you're scrolling in the section you selected, you're going to scroll, scroll, scroll. You want the rarest item, right? So you're going to want to go all the way in the back. And once you go all the way in the back, like skipping through all those pages, 99% of the time, you're going to get disconnected. So to go about this, what I found out you have to do is you're going to have to go section by section. Now, what I mean by section by section is... While you're scrolling, you're going to have to go 10 to 20 pages at a time. You could push it to 50, but it, there's a risk you get disconnected. So I found out when you like skip every 10 pages, you load it up, wait for it to load. And then you go again, 10 to 20 pages. So you gradually get to the last page or to the page you want to be at. And for example, look, I just got disconnected. I'm going to go back. Once I get disconnected, I'm going to go back scroll to the page i got disconnected from and it's gonna work because look as you can see the items that are displayed are the ones i loaded like there's only a few items that are loaded in the shop is because i stopped there i loaded it and i continued so once you disconnect you could continue to wherever you stopped at it's a bit tedious and long but it's definitely worth it if you want to get the last items like the ones i'm going to be displaying now and that's how you use the avatar store in 2023 so sit back, relax, enjoy this commentary, and hope you get some fucking swag fits. So these are the coolest items I found for you guys to get, and we're going to be starting off with headwares. This one looks pretty dope, night helmet. I mean, it's kind of blocky, but you know, it is what it is. Bruh, the sugar skull mask. Honestly, like, looking through these pages, I found some really cool things I actually never seen before. Yo, the Harambe gorilla mask. Yo, RIP Harambe. That definitely has to be Harambe. Doesn't have a halo over him for nada. Yo, battle helmet. Yo, these gradients are so sick, man. Yo, Pop-Tart helmet. That one goes hard, bruh. Definitely recommend that one. Epic skull helmet. Yo, we got that chrome shine. Pretty dope. Got some more battle helmets type thing. Got the gold. Golden white, golden black. Yo, this Geo mask is sick. When I saw this, I was like, yo, this has to be on the list, man. Got the samurai bamboo hat. Yo, this one, it goes hella hard, bro. Samurai, yo. Blue monster mask. This one's sick with this one there's also different variants the green one pretty lit skis another samurai but with a with a beard you know more your type yo this bandana fro hella sick bruh 
had to put down the list. <laughs> the other cat. Yo, this one would be jokes to get. No cat. See, pay attention to the pages. Page 78. You have to scroll still a bit, you know, to find these. Yo, the face, bro. Cool face. This is sick. It has like an outline animation. Definitely get that, bro. Got another one. It's like, meh, you know. Whatever. Fuck it, boy. I'm a smiley, but I'm like, meh. Yo, gold gas mask. Angry paper bow. I would get this one, you know. It's like Halloween coming up soon. October type beat. <laughs> Yo, dude. These ones are sick, man. Look at look at this skull when I'm about to preview this one. Yo, this one reminds me of Twisted Metal. Honestly, it might be from Twisted Metal, but yo, this one I actually might get for myself. Old pumpkin head, hella swag. Yo, black boy, uh, balaclava Santa. That one is sucking hard, bro. Come on. Yo, Hitman rubber duck hat. I don't know what's the relic, like the connection with Hitman and a <laughs> duck helmet, but. <laughs> Gamer zombie mask. This one's sick. Pretty dope. Yo, slasher eyes cap is. I don't know. The cap is cool, but like it looks way too big on my head. <laughs> Ninja mask. See, these are like the very basic ones, but still, they're hella rare, bro. Like they're like the first of its kind. Sonic hat. This one looks hella sick. House party. Definitely recommend that one, bro. Yo, happy new year hat. These are hella basic at the end, but you gotta think, these are the first of its kind, you know? Modern Warfare 2 cap, no cap. Yo, what you doing? Look how big the cowboy hat is. That's technically the first cowboy hat on the marketplace, you know? Pretty sick nonetheless. Cosmonaut helmet. I like the animation of these deep sea diving and the cosmonaut, pretty cool. I don't know, CTS has like the samurai one, but very uh, less detailed. Flesh Reaper hat. This one look cool. Thought I'd put it on the list. And Gold Nebula Dreadlock Ponytail. Technically the rarest item on the marketplace for headwear. But yeah, now we're going to go to glasses. Pixel sunglasses, you know, Minecraft ones. Go hella hard. Definitely got to cop those. Yo, these futuristic type of visors, I found that go Hella hard, bro. I heart eye patch. Pretty sick. 3D glass. I wish it was like white 3D glasses. Black is also cool, though. Got eye patch. Yo, these beach glasses. Yo, you look like a bug with those. Yo. Them circular ones are sick. Garrus eyepiece. Metal goggles. That's for the glasses. Gloves. Not much in gloves. Fingernails are pretty sick, though. Oh yeah, and there's uh, there's hidden rings I found. There's a couple of rings here in the gloves. Yo, these hooves look trippy. If you want to make something like goofy avatar, like mix and matches, skeleton gloves go hard. And the rarest technically, nuke gloves, Duke fingerless gloves, pretty sick. Rings, not much. Just a blue diamond ring. They're mostly all like sports oriented. Wristwear, yeah, you got, you got a couple cool watches. Kind of basic, but cool. This one's technically the rarest one. Bubble watch. Pretty dope. All right, now tops. This is a big list, bro. 432 pages. All right, the first one I recommend are the tattoos. These ones are sick, honestly. Like, the ones on the neck like that, it's pretty hard to, to see. But you'll, you'll see, like, the ones on the arms are pretty dope, honestly. But these ones on the neck, I'd still get them nonetheless. Now we get to the arms, bro. Color tattoo sleeve. These are sick, bro. I would get these. I'd get these myself. I got tattoos. It would match my personality. Got tattoo sleeve. That's battle gear. Pink, black. I like the chrome effect. That's why I wanted to put these on the list. Yo, these jackets. Gold one, bro. T to go hard, bro. There's a black version after on some page, but you know. That. Modular vest. Pink bling. Like Irish got that chrome effect. So pretty dope. There's the gold black jacket. These ones remind me of like uh, Modern Warfare 3 prestige icons. I don't know. I'd put them in the list. 
Epic Skull Outlaw Foe shit. More tattoos here. You see, like, there's a lot to discover in the Avatar store. Yo, the laser cats? These are sick. I didn't even know these existed until I found them. You know, hella dope. Atari, you know, regular red shirt. Vintage. Swag! Yo, you gotta get the swag, bro, from Console Kings. Yo. Hella sick, man. MLG, you definitely gotta get the MLG shirts. Those are like OG, like classics, bro. MLG shirt and hoodie. Got the GG hoodie and you got a smile hoodie. Or T, I mean. <laughs> Bone eye, this one's sick. It's like a whole skull on the entire shirt. Hell yeah. Yo, the Krusty Krab. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Spitfire, these ones are lit. Got more tattoos. Mom. Got some kanji, right sleeve. Yo, know, page 300, bro. These are kind of hard to find. But with the tip I gave you guys, you definitely got this. You can find them just like I did. Hell yeah. Small pattern ones. It's, it's sick, man. I just missed the Avatar store, man. I can't believe this is actually going to be gone, man. Like, it still hasn't processed for me. That's why we got to embrace it as much as we can while it's still here, you know? Nightmare Before Christmas, right before Halloween and Christmas. Yo, this one is sick, yo. Secret Tea? Yo, man. And the rarest I recommend, obviously, Halo. Halo teas go hard. Alright, now the pantaloons. Got these chrome pants. Go pretty sick, honestly, on the first page. Not rare, but... Pretty dope nonetheless. Got these bleached ones. Yo, these shorts are sick, honestly. Like the sports. Yo, if you want to be a real G, sagging like a. <laughs> like <laughs> those are sick too. Lounge pants, dope. Yo, Santa Cruz ones, those go hard. Checkered ones, yo. Dead Island shorts, hell yeah. Got the Perry ones, you know, like uh, you just loafing in your loafers. Argo pants, this one's sick. Simple, nice shape, dope as fuck. Ninja one's pretty lit. Seattle specials, this one's like a classic. This is a look that, that looks like you're playing, you're about to play Tony Hawk Pro Skater or some shit. <laughs> For the women, you know, striped peg pants, those like tight ones or zesty guy, whichever you are. And the most OG one, Halo cargo pants. Hell yeah. Alright, the shoes. Got these Galax ga Galaxy Galaxy shoes. These other ones, elf slippers. Slippers. These are just called slippers, bro. Cowboy boots. These ones look sick. I have pants over, but like if you had like shorts or a different type of pants. Yo, these are free. Pause. Those are free. Get them. <laughs> Check your sneakers go hard. Hell yeah. These grinding sneaks, the regular sneakers, hard as hell. Alright, now the dress up. There's a lot to cover in the dress up, so pay attention, y'all. Pause the video, go back, whichever you want, but check these out, yo. These ones that make you look like a G are sick as fuck, honestly, bro. Like, they have so many color schemes. The the bling blood lords, those are sick, bro. They look like a, a lord assassin. Shadow Force Ninja. Reminds me of Genji from Overwatch. Playing Unicorns. These are sick, honestly. I like those. Definitely one of my favorites. <laughs> Red ones. Oh. There's a lot of the same type, but the color schemes are just too hard to not put on this list. <laughs> These ones, Xbox One onesies, these are free. Get them for sure, free. I couldn't find a lot of free ones. They were kind of hard to find, but I found a couple though. The skull fit, you know, got the shiny one, the chrome, and the regular one. Oh. The black and pink, the Lord. Oh, that's sick. Power armor, hell yeah, simple. Cantina band from Star Wars, yo. Yo, this one's super sick. 
Murder? Murdered? Yo, you're like hollow. You're like a ghost, yo. Hell yeah, Skull Reaper. Fallen Gamer. Oh yeah, got that one up in the corner there. Platinum Fox Ninja. Pink Unicorn Onesie. You got a lot of onesies in different pages, so. Outline bodysuit. I had a friend with this one. Pretty sick. Fine warrior. Different type of warrior or lord looking. This one's cool because it's like you're glowing. Your hair is glowing and stuff. <laughs> Elite fighter. Got a gas mask outfit. I thought this was clean as hell, so. Yo, Mr. Chief costume. This one's like such a troll, like, halo one. Yo, I'm 50 cent. <laughs> Champion outfit, definitely recommend that. Number one wizard, like a homie wizard outfit, yo. Workaholic suit, yeah. Now we getting the more rare ones, yo. Ninja bread, man. This one is lit, yo. Bro, these Batman ones are actually not that bad. This blue one is my favorite, probably. Animated one's pretty cool too. Red berry costume, yo. Papa Ruski, <laughs> which is crew look. Got a little glitch shirt. Got a little spider costume. <laughs> Yo, bejeweled armor. You're literally a bling god. Pretty sick. Yo, Sanic. <laughs> Yo, man. Yo, the South Park one's Kenny, bro. It's your boy Kenny, man. Got the Kyle one. Got the Cartman one. You got the Stan one. Definitely recommend those. Scream 4. Hell yeah. Zombie costume. This one's pretty dope. Honestly, it has a second one there. Newspaper. It got a little. Yo, monkey. You got the penguin. Yo, the animal ones always go hard. Honestly, like like the onesies. I don't know. Definitely recommend getting those. Nana costume. Hell yeah. A homemade robot costume. You know, regular robot. Pretty cool. A hot dog suit. This one looks hella funny. Yo. MW2 Army Ranger, yo. See, these ones are the OGs, the rarest, like, dress up fits. Santa, regular Santa. Got the alien one. Man, I miss these, yo. That ghost one, yo, this ghost one I've had for years, man. And the most rarest one, Le Chuck Pirate Suit. <laughs> and now we got the props. The props go so hard, yo. Barrier mech arms, gold. Yo. That was crazy with it, man. Props are probably the, f was, was probably the most fun to discover, bro. I found so many cool ones. Like this epic thunder sorcery. There's like five of them with different colors, but my favorite one is red and probably the blue one. Pretty dope animation, not gonna lie. Dude, this one, Bling Halloween, get this one. Look at this, bro. I didn't know there was animations like this. They're legit like mini movies. I don't know, pretty sick. <laughs> Yo, these vamp wings go hard. Pretty dope. The gold ones and the green ones. I personally like the green ones better, but it's all personal preference. Yo, bling tiger. This one goes hard, yo. Straight flexing. <laughs> Man. That's crazy that we won't even be able to get these after it closes. Yo, checked out deck. You going crazy. You be skating out here with this prop. No cap. Oh, yeah. Ah. Ha. Yo, fighter jet from Star Wars, bro. This one, they, they went extra with this with the black background. Man, definitely a cop. Plus, it's actually pretty long, the animation. I don't know, the longer it is, the more worthy wor the more worth it it is to get, you know, $3.99. Yo. Yo, got the Patrick one. It was a SpongeBob one, but I didn't really like it, but it's all good. Patrick one goes harder. Boom 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 boom. Yo, Siberian Husky. Yo, this dog is the cutest. Had to pick this one out. Uh, look at little, look at little chattling, little, little, little bro. 
Yo, the lab, this one's sick. You're cooking up them chemicals, breaking bad type beat. <laughs> Pretty long animation too. Oh yeah. Kermit. This one's just called Banjo, but it's really Kermit. Over the rainbow. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. These animations ahead of its time. Got the lightsaber one. This is very old. So like my avatar's face looks hella weird. Is they were just not advanced with the facial expressions, I guess, at the time. Page 261. Hella rare. <laughs> like, look at him. <laughs> and the rarest of the rare. Halo RC Warthog. I don't know. Halo had the rarest shit because it was just hella old as well, you know? All right, before we get to the free avatar items in the store, there's two free avatar item codes to put in that are still working to this day. All you got to do is go to redeem code, put this code in, and you'll receive the black Bing shirt. And it's only for male avatars. If you try to redeem this on a female avatar, it's going to give you an error because you don't have a female avatar and vice versa with the second code. The second code is a white Bing shirt only for the female avatars. So, okay, why not, you know, simple Bing, good old Bing. <laughs> and honestly, those are the only two codes I found working in 2024, so, bug it. All right, now the avatar store, we're gonna start with the tops. So, and also pay attention to the page number because so first free t-shirt joe bang avatar t-shirt <laughs> yo that's funny bro I got that. i've never seen a, a an avatar shirt with like an actual face on it it's pretty lit fuck it second we got a hydration pack you know simple gray shirt with a like a brown backpack hell yeah next we got the pop tarts long sleeve shirt you know the classic pop tarts blue and white swag next we got black spades shuffle hoodie looks like a deck of cards type of thing black spades t nice little writing on the back with the logo in the front and like a fusion of the both black spades with the wild card like pattern pretty fucking swag next we got boom cold blast better hoodie simple hoodie with the lettering or the logo and boom cold blast better t peace sign with a nice little aqua camo next we got certified mcp t-shirt official microsoft t-shirt Got it in black and got it in white. Hell yeah. Xbox One Avatar t-shirt. Simple. New gen mutton. Next we got Chicago Game Jersey. This was hella odd and out of the ordinary. Out of all like the cosmetics and the sports, this was free. I don't know why, but yeah, found that. Then we got Buffalo Jersey, another free sports item. Odd. Cell Thermal, simple white long sleeve. Then we got Agency Fish shirt, brown with the fist pointing down. Running agent shirt, simple, simple black tee. Ruffian shirt, white lettering, pure black. And agent tower shirt, orange shirt with a logo on one sleeve and a building in the middle. Oh yeah. All right, avatar props. These are pretty dope. The first one here is an Osprey. These are pretty long animations, so I kind of cut it, but it's basically the same shit, repetitive. Osprey flying around. You're out, your guys like, hey, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, pretty dope. Nice buck for your bang. <laughs> and yeah, that's the ending. Shloop. Oh yeah. Next is marine parachute. Basically opening a parachute and free falling. Simple. Dope. A long animation. Oh yeah. Next we got Venom. It's uh oh yeah, helicopter. Basically the same concept as the Osprey, but a bit more unique. In the beginning it puts you in different angles. 
and just flies around. Yo, Tony the Tiger shirt. This is such a steal, bro. This is such a hidden like gem. Like Tony the Tiger shirt in the prop section. I don't know. I think that's crazy. And uh, the mascot head. Yo, definite cop before the marketplace shuts down. Holy crap. Next, we got Nerf trees. Tries tree strike. Nerf gun. Go crazy with it. It targets. Oh yeah. Simple yet effective. Yeah, another long uh, anime, anime, animation. <laughs> Next we got Porsche Spider. Check out the whip. Oh, dying hot, dying hot in that bitch, and then you go crazy with it. <laughs> Pretty cool, uh, free prop. Not gonna lie. Let's drive around. Oh yeah. Up next, we got Windows 10 Ninja Cat skis. This one's pretty dope. I like this one. <laughs> the cat on skis. I don't know. I thought that was hella lit. Oh shit! That airtime. Hell yeah. Top blah. Nice. Pretty dope free prop. Next, we got yarn avatar. Nice little buddy. Hey, look at him go. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Boomco Rapid Madness Blaster. You know. Another gun animation type thing. Boom, boom, boom. More commando style. Very fucking. Oh, shit. I didn't even see this. What? Oh, damn. Damn. He literally added a block. That's pretty cool. Next, we got Gold Medal Ceremony. You know. Champion. Gold Medal. Oh, yeah. Ha, <laughs> ha. This one's a pretty long one, so I kind of cut it. But, yeah. Agency SUV. This one is hella old and pretty simple, you know, SUV, driving around your feet, ka-ching, <laughs> and yeah. And last but not least is Renegade Orbs, I don't know, Orbs floating, kind of cool, hell yeah. Alright, let's move on to the headwear, first headwear, Season 8 hat, got a green scorpion on the front, star on the side. Nice little pattern at the bottom of the snapback. Oh, yeah. Next, Marine Smokey, you know, looking like a scout. <laughs> like, communications helmet, simple. Marine Boonie hat, simple, like, fishing hat. Oh, yeah. Pop Tarts helmet. I did not know this was free. Yo, this is such a steal. Holy crap. Such a steal. Snap hat. I think this is from, uh, no, not Rice Krispies. Anyways, it looks dope. Chef hat. It says snap on it. Pop hat. Nice little big ass fucking hat. <laughs> Yo, Toucan Sam mascot hat. Oh yeah, that's a big ass beak. Holy shit. <laughs> and crackle hat for free. Looking like a smurf out here. <laughs> Damn. Next, we got vintage helmet. You know, like F1 old racer type of headgear. Black spade snapback. Got the logo in the. That's a console kings, right? Logo of the crown? Yeah. Hell yeah. Porsche helmet. This is hella dope. Real NASCAR shit or motorcycle, maybe. No, it's probably like NASCAR. Porsche spider hat. Simple. Nice alliance on the cap. Yo, black spade's bucket hat. This one is fucking swag, bro. Holy shit. Definitely a cop. Your drip. Free cat. This is hella old and far in the list. Zombie face. Oh yeah. Crackdown two hat. Simple snapback. Swag YOLO. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, dress up category. First we got ghillie suit. Basic ghillie suit. Kinda alright-ish. You know? Xbox One Winsy and White. Simple. Pretty cool. Fuck with it. And in black. Hell yeah. Looking real cozy with it. <laughs> Next we got Origin Race Suit. Simple. And Evolution Race Suit in blue. Pretty classic race suits, not gonna lie. Oh yeah. You know, my avatar's going crazy with the Black Eyed Peas dance. <laughs> Cell Soldier Suit. Simple orange type beat. Why not? Level 5 agent suit. Crackdown. Hell yeah. Cool. And last, P2 
peacekeeper outfit simple soldier outfit oh yeah all right shoes there's literally like nothing at all combat boots free simple brown boots and race boots agency supercar slippers pretty fucking swag not gonna lie for two items and last but not least accessories there's nothing except the black spades championship ring that's all there is for accessories but yeah get these while you can guys time's running up must have themes what you're gonna want to get are these swaggington themes Yo, themes are so sick, honestly. Like, there's so many underrated ones, rare ones, and some I didn't even know existed that I was I discovered the other day. So, yo, first on the motherfucking list is obviously my favorite one. This is actually my—I'm not even capping, bro. Those of you, those of you that know me or seen me in my first video that blew up, the one that you must have first: abstract theme from Modern Warfare 2. This one, yo, this one is so sick. It's simple, you know. You know what I just realized? It doesn't even have the white fade at the bottom or anything. Pretty crazy, but you know, it got that swag from like, you know, it has that custom, custom, uh, like icons behind your friends, soldiers, but the theme stays concurrent. It's just the same picture, but this one goes hella hard. I fuck with it a lot. And also before I forget, I want to show you guys a real quick tip. If you go to themes, this is also like, if you go to your games, so let's say this, okay. Team DZN anime. If you click this and you go see full game, you see all the themes this like um, company or organization released. Extras, these are all the themes. So if you want to see all the themes by specific like, you know, company or whatever, you click see full game on any of them and you just look at the extras, you know, it could be themes, gamer pictures, whatever that company made. You could find it all in one spot there as well as your games. Same thing as my games. So yeah. First theme you must get is the abstract from Modern Warfare 2. OG motherfucking swag. You know what the fuck going on? All right. Second on the list, we got... Also, half of these I found, like... I literally discovered them, like, a week ago. And they're so sick. And I can't believe I didn't discover them earlier. I bought so much, bro. <laughs> bro. But second one you must get is 8-bit crown theme by Console Kings, bro. Con yeah, everybody that knows Console Kings, they make crazy gamer pictures. And themes bro look at this bro pretty dope wait till you see the friends section yo the friends section is crazy they have pixel crowns in the background yo this was honestly i caught my attention the most the pixel crowns in the back i find it's hella dope and yeah not all themes are gonna have that you know customization the friends section or my games i don't know if they have a yeah it changes color in the my game section also certain themes they also change in system settings but Oh, that's pretty sick blue but yeah it's obviously the most important is the main menu and my game section but yeah highly recommended pretty dope theme go sicko mode all right third theme you're gonna want is banjo kazooie premium theme pretty sure it has more uh pictures in the background like in games yeah i got a little moon type thing there also i'm not really i don't think i'm gonna go through all my themes you know because some of them are just honestly not that great. They're just advertisements for like certain drinks or companies and they're just not that really cool looking. I just picked out the best ones for you guys. See, look, look at the system settings background. That one's sick. Honestly, I feel like that would be sick for the main main menu background dashboard. Yeah, this one goes hella hard. I fuck with this one a lot. Next, we got Perfect Dark E3. This one, I just like the whole atmosphere of it. It's like hella like dark spacey type beat. Check that out, bro. It's more like dark themed. I don't know if it has. Oh, yeah. I changed the background here. Yeah, you see like a lot of them changed their backgrounds, which is sick. I think they also have displayed icons in the back here. Oh, no, they don't. Oh, good. It's... Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, look at that, bro. Dude, that's crazy, bro. There's a lot of underrated themes out there waiting to get bought next we got uh i believe this is black ops 2 zombie steam yeah this gives you like some fucking halloween vibes bro yo it's gonna be autumn soon october definitely get this one black ops 2 zombie steam it's just called zombie steam so if you type that you definitely find it or if you go in like black ops I, th I think it's black ops 2 pretty sure it's black ops 2 or black ops 1 i'm not sure but either or shouldn't be too hard to find actually it might be black ops 1 yeah it might be black ops 1 but yeah, Black Ops 1 zombies themes goes crazy. Yeah, yo, check that out, bro. 
like this is so sick like they literally take the time to make like custom like sprites in the back of your avatars just creates a whole amplification to the atmosphere of your dashboard pretty sick yo but yeah zombies theme gotta get that boy next we got the halo theme as you guys saw in my gamer picks video this one og fucking theme you just type halo it's from the original halo and uh yeah this one goes fucking hard Used it in my last video. System settings has a nice little blue background type beat. My games, I think it's the same background. Oh no. Yeah, they went all out. Next theme, the girls of TFU steam pack. I fuck with this one a lot. Got a couple of, you know, females in the background. Can't go wrong with that, yo. Got, I, I don't even know them characters. Princess Leia, this one, she looks kind of aight. <laughs> yeah, I like this one. I recommend this one, must have system setting i think it's a different yeah this one's sick pretty dope from today's video's intro sonic theme bro sonic like they made some cool ass not just sonic but like you know knuckles tails backgrounds definitely recommend this one bro this one i think it's just og sonic i don't know if there's i didn't really check a lot of the backgrounds oh yeah it has three all three of them there that's sick I just mainly checked the main menu dashboard background, but oh, they got knuckles. That's pretty sick. Man, I can't go wrong with Sonic, bro, honestly. Next up, we got Minecraft with theme. This one is nice. It's like bright Minecraft, you know? Fuck with Minecraft. Definitely get this one. Pretty sure it has a custom uh, friend section here. Yeah, yo, check that. That's so sick. Yo, dude, look at that. Hell yeah, I definitely recommend this one. I'm pretty sure it has a different background for my games yeah yo t yo minecraft makes some hard ass fucking themes and and gamer picks bro check that out it's hella dope minecraft wood and minecraft what was the other one on the next it was like next to each other minecraft diamond yeah this one's dope yo i got the orange fade in got the backgrounds for the friends yo ender dragon shit this is some nice nightlife minecraft vibes custom background for the games and for system settings bro telling you minecraft make some dope ass stuff highly recommend these Last but not least, Tui's Splendid Theme. This one's I I fuck with this one. Like I just like the green, um, like the green fade. It just makes it look hella different, you know? Got the blue background type thing. Sist yo, like I, I just like the brightness of it, you know? 3D aspect. Bright colors type wave. Got the sprites in the back. Yeah, that's sick. I just love that animation style. Like it's, it's like not super clunky. It just reminds me of like some PS1 like animations. Yo, that devil in the back there, that's sick, bro. Got some cool sprites for the friends. I'm pretty sure my game section is, yeah. Custom tear. Pretty dope skis. All right. Now, we are going to check out the free themes I recommend you guys getting. Because, yo, they're free, you know? Don't got to spend a dollar on those. First free theme I recommend is Psychonauts. This one's pretty simple, you know, from the Xbox original. Also, I realize a majority of Xbox original themes are free. So if you think of an Xbox original game, type it in as a high chance of being free. Obviously, free themes are not going to be as crazy as the paid ones, but they're still pretty sick. Like the creators still put a lot of work in them, you know, like she has different backgrounds for each scenario. Psychonauts goes pretty sick. Simple theme, free, you know, ain't got nothing to lose. All right. Second recommendation for the winter motherfuckers holiday 2011 premium theme this one is sick you know for the winter time it's a little red background you know simple stuff my games has a green section here system little, little jolly little jolly jingle bells or snowflakes whatever <laughs> but yeah free one holiday 2011 premium theme next on the list we got crash bandicoot wrath of cortex theme dude this goes hella hard for a free theme pack yo come on bro Check that out. Got Crash and HD, bro. Got some like sci-fi shit in the back there for the game section. And you got Crash zoomed in for the system settings section. Pretty dope, man. Crash Bandicoot can't go wrong with the boy. <laughs> Next up, Telus Theme Pack. This one is simple, you know. <laughs> if you fuck with animals, this could be a funny one. I don't know. I'd get. I had this one for like years, so I was like, fuck it, why not? It's free. You know, I bet you guys would like it. You know, they got a goat in the back there. <laughs> Just some settings. Got another goat with some rocket. I don't know, but fuck with a monkey with ducks and a and a bird. Why not? It's free. 
For all the gamers, OG gamers, next up we got Mountain Dew background or theme. This one's in French, but there's an English version, but you know, simple greenery fits with the green Xbox. Come on, boy. <laughs> Yo, my games. Yeah, I think this is just simple one background type thing. Maybe the system settings is different. Yeah, it's just a simple background. Why not? Free cash it in or it's too late and last that i recommend for the free ones is this one called rare theme <laughs> it's not really rare but it's called rare theme i think it's cool you know simple white aesthetic why not pretty sure it has the same background for oh no it's a bit different for the game section but yeah why not orange white abstract background but yeah those are the free themes i recommend you guys getting have nothing really to lose Takes up a bit bit of space, but how much can a theme take up? No saying, but <laughs> all right. Next section. I consider these rare themes because A, they are hard to find, and B, majority of them have little to no rating. So little to no rating equals less downloads in my opinion. I've had for years some of them, and some of them I just got. So these are my rare themes. I suggest you guys getting. And we're gonna start off with number one fable anniversary theme this one looks so sick like dude the silver and i don't know it looks i just i just love this theme a lot honestly i'm not a crazy fable fan but dude the glow around him and shit and oh yeah there is slightly like you can see a faint like circle behind him pretty sick i think it's, i think it's the same background yeah same background next we got sita or Sita, Kita, I don't know, this looks so sick. I just found this like last week. This one looks so dope. I've never seen or heard of this theme. And also like, I couldn't really find the company who made this because not all packs will be, you will be able to see like the C full game section. I'm not sure like, but this one I thought it was so sick. It went hella hard, bro. Look at that, bro. It has some like 2D designs, bro. Cartoon type thing. I fuck with this one. Definitely recommend that. I think system is different too. Yeah, look at that, bro. System settings, bro. Shit, that's sick. Like the skull and the superhero guy. Yo, Sita, C I T T A. Fuck with this one, bro. All right, next. This one, Digital Blasphemy Hidden Forces. This one I find is hella rare because it has no ratings. And I don't, I've never seen anybody with this or like any showcase. Look at this sick background, bro fucking space yo digital blasphemy the company definitely recommend checking all their stuff out but this one specifically hidden forces i find it's hella rare look at the blue background i don't know i just find it so dope space type of theme system settings has another like nebula type thing i fuck with it bro bro they do they have fucking planets in the back that is sick the avatars will load yeah yo look at that bro that is dope Shit. hidden forces definitely get this and definitely check the whole company out digital blasphemy as well as their gamer picks they make some cool ass content hell yeah also disclaimer i am not sponsored by any of these like third party like theme make theme companies and all that i just this is my opinion i think they're hella sick definitely deserve the love on to the next this one e bunny xmas you know Got them sexy anime girls for some Xmas vibes. You know, holiday season. Uh, pimp it out a bit. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Another rare theme pack. Fuck with it a lot. Also, it looks hella sick with, um, if you turn your shit into Japanese, like my other video, if you want to get like, Japanese exclusives, link in the description or on top left corner to see that. But yeah, this one goes hella hard. Fuck with it. I've had it for a bit now. Well, actually, no, I, I got it recently, like, uh, like two, three weeks ago. Next up, another holiday one, 2008 theme. I really like this one. It's so like, I find it's like so calming and soothing. Like definitely recommend to get this one for the holidays. No way background. Yeah, it's just the same background, but I fuck with this. All right, last but definitely not least of my rare themes that I have, Guanji Premium Theme 2 or Guang. Guang I think it's Guanji, but bro, this looks so fucking sick. I bought it last week. And yo, I can't believe I've never seen this theme. Super fucking rare in my opinion. They have a bunch of others I didn't discover, but I got this one. Look at this theme, yo. It's so sick. Bro, my game section has a whole custom one too here, yo. Friends, look at the section here, yo. Oh my god, look how sick that is, yo. Dude, got the system settings doodles, man. Yo, this one is my favorite 
theme up to date so far like for now like damn bro definitely get this one before the marketplace closes all right the last section of the video is custom themes so first i want to give you guys a special tip on putting your own so you're gonna need a usb for this any usb that works for your xbox 360 just get one from walmart or anywhere put it in your put a picture on your usb now you're gonna want to go to picture viewer portable device and select your picture or go over your picture and press y apply as background it's gonna want to it's gonna let you apply this as your background and boom right there you have a custom theme any picture you want but it's only a picture you know you can't change the other ones you can't change the aura or like the system settings you know it's just gonna be one picture but if you want a quick way to put your own pictures as your theme that's how you do it so first thing you're gonna want to need is a usb stick and a program on your computer called horizon once your usb is on your xbox it's gonna say usb storage device or whatever it says it's gonna show up there make an account a profile that you don't want to use because personally me i'm not i don't use my personal profile in case something goes wrong so these are all like my alts and shit so okay let's just see google devil whatever you're gonna want to move this profile to your usb stick just like that and once that's done you're gonna just unplug your usb and plug it in your pc okay now once you're on your pc and you downloaded horizon it's gonna look like this okay and if you plugged in your usb correctly in your pc it's gonna show that you have it right here flash right right now here is the profile i dragged google devil so with the download you're gonna just take the download the kobe team theme and drag it right here boom this is what it is right and now to save it on your profile you just go to save device flash drive save changes boom and it's gonna show up there boom 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 kobe team theme it's gonna show up right here on your theme section this is like your profile your go like this this is google devil like his profile all right so it's gonna show up there and once you have all the copa team themes you're just gonna eject your usb and put it back in your xbox all right now that our usb is back in the xbox we could go to themes and see all the themes we got now you could do like they're gonna display on your theme section if your usb is still in it you could copy or move this to a, a different profile or your hard drive. So you can move this Kobe team theme to hard drive. And now it's on your Xbox forever. Free theme right there. But me, I'm just going to keep it on my USB. So yeah, now I'm going to preview the themes that I made <laughs> for you guys. This is sick, bro. I honestly, I had a lot of fun doing this shit. No cap. First theme I'm going to preview is kobe teens rem theme i made this really quick you know nothing crazy just rem from res zero my favorite anime boom just the background like that you've seen it in my japanese video goes hard you know i didn't switch much that's it rem theme right there second one i want to preview kobe teens og xbox theme this one is so dope i'm so happy and proud of this theme i made Man, look at this. OG Xbox background, bro. Dee! I made it hella custom. I made right here to get my games. Had the OG Xbox in the back like that. A little Xbox thing like that. So OG Xbox from Kobe Teen himself. Download that shit for free. But yeah, just another reminder for you guys. To get these custom themes, you must do what I just said. Get Horizon on the computer. Put a profile on your USB drag it to your usb put the usb in your pc and drag the downloaded files onto horizon and all that and boom custom themes third kobe teens og gamer picks theme you know i mean, i gotta put the little nostalgia swag again and again and again i put all the og gamer picks in one theme you know nothing crazy all of them my games it switches up the pattern a bit boom like that system it's the same shit i think boom pretty cool gamer picks theme fourth kobe teens japanese fall theme you know it's september 
It's getting cold autumn season time. You know, I want to have a little bit of swag aesthetics for the time being. This is a very simple one. Just one picture. I like this one, you know, very simple. Autumn-y. You see nice autumn vibes. Hella aesthetically pleasing. And as autumn is around the corner, so is Halloween. Copatine's Halloween theme. I mean, a little spooky one. Yo, this is hella fun. I, I stayed up all night the other night making these till fucking 2 in the morning. This is sick. Nice little spooky type of theme. Put a little custom one for the My Games. I think I put another one for a system. Oh no, it's the same thing, yeah. Boom. A spooky top beat. And last but not least, a simple Kobe team theme as you see on my YouTube banner. This is the full thing. If you want to support your boy or just like the steam put it on you know nice little cope team no special game background but you know a little cope team theme all right so let's get on with the theme so you're gonna want to go to browse games themes and filter it by top downloads and we're gonna scroll all the way to the very end First theme I recommend is Xbox Live is 5 theme. Pretty simple theme, you know, not too shabby. It's an official Xbox Live uh, theme. They kind of fucked up the cropping of it, but fuck it, you know, it's just a little detail. Pretty dope, got this. Settings and... Yeah, pretty simple. Nice. Next, we got Turtle Beach theme pack. Yo, these Turtle Beaches, yo, you already know these are such a throwback and a must-have, yo. Turtle Beaches were like the go-to back then. This Turtle Beach 7 series pack. Nice, simple, white background type beat. It's a bit dark, but I think it looks cool. Oh, yeah. Got the gold shining. Turtle Beach Call of Duty theme pack. Yeah, this one, such a steal, honestly. Like, some of these that are free, they're actually so dope. Like, like such cool collectibles and make your entire flex box look swag as hell. Hell yeah. Damn. Two human action theme. This one's a pretty dope, uh, simple, uh, like, uh, design drawing type of blueprint looking ass theme. I'm telling you, like, these are like, I feel like there's no reason to not get these, you know? Two human concept two. Got the flame, got a more dark, ambient lighting type of feel to it. Hella swag. The Rise of the Guardians theme. Nice global HQ looking theme with the grass and the nice little temple thing. <laughs> Hella steam pack. This is why you gotta be in the Canadian market or you're not gonna see this type of theme, but tell us, you know, nice little monkey duck. Goat. <laughs> oh man, these themes. I fuck it, I'm gonna miss them. I am gonna miss them. That's why you gotta get them live. Taco Bell theme? Yo, this these are so cool. Like, I don't know, the purple with the light, like the heavenly light, I think it's hella cool. I don't know. Surprised I never found these like back in the day. There's so many themes I discovered like recently, like it's unreal. Another Taco Bell one, the burrito, and the border sauce fire one. <laughs> Subway theme. Back when they were actually good. <laughs> the fucking mascot. Some of these actually put a lot of work. They're not just like a single picture. That's what I like about them. Next we got Stride theme. Once again, epic gum goaded theme. Got the orange van, the goat, some graffiti art. Hella cool. All right, now these, Red Bull. I'm showcasing the best that I think, not every single one in this section right here. And um, I wrote the specific pack of what I'm showcasing just for this segment. But yeah, Red Bull gives you wings theme, the regular one, hella cool. And also some of these themes, I'm not gonna be showcasing like the games and the settings because they're more or less either a single picture or repetitive. So if I don't showcase the games or settings uh, section, just uh, no, that's the reason why. Air Race theme, this one's a cool one with the plane. Hell yeah. Blake Griffin themed basketball. Got the Carissa Moore theme. Oh yeah. <laughs> Crashed Ice theme. Nice little winter hockey type beat. Hell yeah. Editions Blue theme. Some nice uh, blue abstract. Not really abstract, just a blue background. Very awesome. 
Great L Ella. I'm butchering this. Grete Ella. No, I'm not even gonna try. Fuck <laughs> it. Ian Walsh theme. Some nice surfboard water waves. Joyride theme. Some nice western wood architect looking theme. Hella unique in my opinion. Such a steal. King of Rock theme. This one's cool. I don't know. The black lighting. No, not the black. The night lighting. Swag. Louis Vito theme. Nice little like gradient type shit. Music Academy, bunch of people in the back swagging. Red Bull Rampage theme, dope dirt bike. Ryan Sheckler theme, the skateboard. Damn, this one's sick. I like the palm trees in the back. Where the trail ends theme, this is a cool orange one with the mountain bike. And X Fighters theme, epic fucking dirt bike one. All right, next is Psychonauts, pure classic. Nice uh, blades. See, when it covers the sides, it's more. It's it was meant for a blades dashboard theme, but it's still cool. It looks good on the, the NXC and the Metro uh, dashboard these days. Prince of Persia, not too bad. I didn't want to showcase too many movies and all because I, I didn't find them too cool, but some of them I did. Pontiac, yo, nice simple white background with a bunch of whips in the back. Definitely a cop. Pepsi Max, a nice simple black one black gradient dude this one's cool like nice the simple the simplicity of some of these are just it, it makes it awesome the theme i don't know old spice yo these ones are sick yo the parrot yo this one like damn i would not think this is like old spice yo like the parrot with the lasers this is such a cool one hot damn must cop old spice eagle theme fucking amazing for like the winter time damn look at that yo winter whiteness mountain swag eagle that is such a dope theme damn honestly one of my favorites nike last oh these are these are <laughs> these are kind of funny i don't know in the the soccer teams iniesta like they make the, the animations like what the fuck i don't know i would say it's, it's still a cop why not neymar like <laughs> the, the animation art style is funny but it's still cool i would cop it nonetheless ronaldo theme like bruh look at them legs <laughs> mutant blobs this one these these two are cool this uh this retro tv looking ass one hella sick definitely a cop and in the my games tab you got like the helis in the top pretty cool this other one graphic theme some nice uh gfx simple uh backgrounds definitely worth it definitely worth the hard drive space mountain dew theme french and english they're the same thing just different text so it says it's in french on the left side but english is the same thing simple mountain dew green pack can't go wrong hell yeah mountain dew classic certified hood classic that is damn son where'd you find this double xp mountain dew and doritos this one's a cool one space got the double xp on the top the branding fucking dope honestly Next, we got Mitsubishi theme. A nice car theme. Simple, you know. They kind of fucked it up, in my opinion. Put the cars at the bottom and the dashboard kind of hidden a bit. But it is what it is. Still a cool theme, nonetheless. Mech Assault Live is 5 theme. This one's dope. Got some robotic shit in the background. Blueprints type beep. Connect Premium theme. This one is actually hella dope. Hella futuristic, honestly. Such a steal such a fucking steal got the connect 360 on the settings and you got the tv in the back three different images pretty cool collectible cameo holiday theme nice for the holidays pretty cool got the girl in the back santa hat dragon with the reindeers and another picture for the games holiday 2011 pack classical i love this one i used to rock this on the holidays classic red background snowy type beat green for the my game section hell yeah gta 4 theme one hell motherfucking yeah this one is cool simple and an epic fucking classic bro there's another gta one down the line that i'm gonna preview but it's a very rare honestly it's a rare fucking theme it was kind of hidden but you're, you're gonna see down the list Gears of war live is five theme another steel blades dashboard theme hella cool classic legendary theme for a legendary franchise hell yeah fusion frenzy theme they killed it once again with the free theme yo got the characters in the background the girl in the settings 
and the other girl in the settings once again finding door routine this one's not that bad there's two pictures dashboard and settings is the same thing but my games it's got dory on the top <laughs> fable theme nice blades dashboard theme simple effective noise lay three images for the three different menus such a cop e3 2017 this one's cool although i wish it was like green the background it's still cool the orange and purple but i feel like this should have stick with green at least for one slide double d bruh do do <laughs> dodgeball theme this one's pretty cool it's like some retro 8-bit uh background themes the purple yo for my game's pretty dope fucking steel disney cars dude these two are hella dope yo i'm telling you some of these are like damn you would expect them to be like at least a dollar or two but there's some free hidden gems in this marketplace hell yeah cars theme two red simple white red gradient at the road in the back for the settings and got some nice desert feel degree theme pack nice lady on the side right there must cop you know that fucking stance <laughs> that's funny oh, damn. and for the my games damn oh i'm gonna say <laughs> crimson skies revenge this is a cool one nice coloring with it orange gradient fiery type got three different images definitely a cop crash bandicoot oh yeah blaze dashboard theme once again ah damn bro i think uh yeah more or less three images champions of gaming got the tennis players and the the golf player aka tiger woods in the my games hello dope this is the one cause chaos live i suggest typing this in because i looked it up i went to the gta like extra section and i couldn't find this pack I couldn't find it, so I suggest typing the whole thing out or just going by through the titles in the in the marketplace. But yeah, this is three Rockstar logo themes. Hella dope. In my opinion, hella rare. Castle Crashers, this one's cool as hell. Three different images. The yellow one, hella sick. Settings got the purple background. Very swagger. And my games, beautiful light blue background. Canada Day 2010 theme. Simple blue with the city simple blue simple red background with the cities in the back hella dope 2008 theme another dope one simple gfx canadian region only well i'm assuming it is <laughs> these are pretty cool hell yeah blue for the my games 2007 one i this one's my favorite out of the canada ones it's more like a homemade type beat got the beaver or squirrel in the back for the settings and uh canadian gyal in the my games <laughs> camaro theme this one's sick transformers and camaro fusion yo hot damn this is a steel as fuck got that fucking orange yellow bright background yeah this is dope hell yeah cadillac china theme these are these are a lot of themes together so bear with your boy got the cadillac these are single images more or less so the china one nice rocky mountains type beat got the monaco one single image as well hell yeah got the morocco one beautiful beautiful scene got the patagonia theme nice simple a like, gray misty like tornado feel to it and cadillac theme number two got the globe got the world in your dashboard <laughs> pretty cool and cadillac theme pack is basically some of them that i just showcased but they're different images three images so this one was the chinese one this one was the monaco one this one was one of the packs yeah this is like more or less like three in one instead of one image per pack burger king games bro throwback sneaking yo it's a cop cool tie to your collection got the burger king guy in the back right there three different images super swaggington valley tin got the bungee day 08 theme this is hella sick man got the bungee like a blaze dashboard all the bungee games at the um fucking bungee made <laughs> hella cool bmw theme a super cool red one red black and white gradient hell yeah if you're a fan of whips definitely a cop this one bro batman arkham asylum this one is such a steal holy crap three awesome images detailed yo damn what a hidden gem definitely a fucking steal hell yeah 
axe steam pack this is where it gets a bit complicated i'm pretty sure this one with the girl is the axe steam pack regular but in the list it, it says axe canada theme so they might be a bit mixed up but for sure this is a free one i just got simple one image not too bad axe hair french cheveux theme pretty sick three images got the axe yo axe you already know back in the day that was such a og all right see these two the one i just showed you the the axe the french axe and the this one they're for sure free i just got a bit confused of which pack is which but this is another hair theme that with the red background and the white gradient pretty simple axe gold theme with the golden viper pretty cool honestly i like this one even though it's just one image not too bad next dark theme it's got like a it's like a, a cupcake on the side i think it was pretty funny not too shabby for the collection chaos ghost this one's cool ghost recon and axe fusion or fucking collab fucking fusion. <laughs> single image not too bad oh yeah amp theme this one's a pretty cool one kind of hiding the the squid at the bottom but it's all good got the green squid aqua feel to it single image advanced warfare theme not too bad this one single image as well but i think it's a pretty cool simple theme why not fuck it you know adidas soccer theme once again there's two themes i don't know which pack belongs to which but this football i'm pretty sure belongs to the soccer theme nice blue background right here three different images black for the system settings and green for the my games definitely a cop adidas 10 plus theme simple 10 plus green background with people in plus plus <laughs> 10 plus uh three different images not too shabby if you're a fan and my games got a nice blue background now this one this last one is team geist i know it's free for sure but i'm not sure if it's delisted or not that's why i'll type in team geist to try to find this one but yeah nice soccer ball and the last one one versus a hundred nice game show background got the avatars on the steam settings they got more avatars orange and black this time on the my games all right bonus time so as you saw in the intro i had a very super swag theme with my logo on the top left what i did for you guys was make a couple of custom themes that you can put on your xbox 360 for free with no danger included oh. aka you're not gonna get banned for this and yeah to put these themes on your xbox 360 you're gonna need a program called horizon for the pc i go in more detail on how to do this in another video regarding themes so check it out link in the description below but this first theme is called copatine sky theme you know simple theme different one for the settings and different one for the my game section oh yeah next we got a rest in peace xbox 360 marketplace theme you know straight to the point gonna miss it man custom picture for the system settings change the color a bit and different color for the game section as well next we got a super dope cursed fusion theme pack aka copatine's playstation theme who would have thought seeing playstation propaganda on the xbox but yeah modern blue playstation background got a different pick here my games ultra swaggington playstation and last but definitely not least cobatine's halo theme now this one i'm hella happy how it turned out got master chief on the fucking main dash system we got cortana looking hella what now <laughs> and my games we got master chief's helmet hella sick up close and personal super swag all right bonus time so what i have made for you guys is not one not 57 but 10 beautiful xbox 360 custom themes for you guys the first one on the list is awesome face theme now only the ogs of the ogs know where this is from pure classic throwback type 2000s nostalgia and honestly this was so i i liked how it came out honestly three custom pictures settings games and home screen next we got is blades dashboard pretty simple just an orange blades dashboard one picture i didn't do anything too crazy on this one but i wanted to kind of look uh pretty og old old style type that's for you nice little blades next we got is happy worst theme simple happy worst three images on each uh section dashboard 
my games and settings. Next we got is Kid Kenny theme. And if you guys didn't know, Kid Kenny is me as well. I make music, that's my artist name. That is my official logo. Beautiful black and pink fusion going on. Simple image and yeah. This one, yo, Minecraft nostalgia theme, pure throwbacks, classic Minecraft wallpapers that we all probably had at some point on our iPods or desktops. Yo, three different images, classic ones, and yeah, man. Up next, yo, it's one of my favorite. Playboy theme, black version. This is so fucking simple. Just a black wallpaper with the Playboy Bunny logo. And two images, change the Playboy Bunny position. And another variant, Playboy Bunny theme pink. Beautiful pink one. Same thing, just different color. Up next, yo, this one is sick. Scarface theme. Two images I added of the one and only Tony Montana. Last but definitely not least, Windows XP 2024 Simple Windows XP Wallpaper. This one is so sick. I like how the gradient really matches with the green. One image, make your old motherfucking Xbox look like a Windows XP wall. <laughs> All right, so applications. Honestly, applications, there's really not much to say or display because they're pretty much all useless at this point, except for YouTube and Netflix. Those are honestly the only two that are probably useful in these days. You can listen to music on system music player, but yeah, that's really about it. Like this whole media section, it still works. Like the video player music, like off your USB type thing, like it works, but like apps themselves, they're pretty much finished. But yeah, YouTube, it works honestly perfectly fine um, on my Xbox. So this is not really like a what to get type B. This is not really much to get, but regarding YouTube and Netflix, I can say YouTube works pretty decently, honestly. Obviously pretty slow, but it still streams videos. That takes a bit of time, <laughs> but well, I don't know what the fuck's happening right now, but like two weeks ago, it was working perfectly fine. I went super quick on my, I watched my own stream while I was live pretty fast. Okay, there you go. There's an ad. Okay, well, obviously it's not the be in the best condition, but it's still usable. Whoa, the quality. But, um, yeah, like, it's still functional. Games get delisted. It still functions. And with that being said, let's get on with uh, it. Yeah. But yeah, YouTube works in 2024. Now, Netflix, I don't have Netflix, but I honestly, I figured out something weird about it. Let's see if it happens now. But I discovered that it flickers when I load the application up and I found a workaround that works perfectly fine like fixing it and I'm gonna show you how to bypass it once this glitch happens oh, okay look it's flickering I right, see it's already flickering all right you see it's flickering the entire screen and the audio like my entire Xbox as you can see so the way I fixed it is go to system settings System settings, uh, where the fuck is it? System settings, display, and put from 1080p to 1080i. This is how I personally fixed the problem. Whoa, you see? Okay, wait. All right, we in 1080i. Let's go back to Netflix and see if it worked. All right, looks like there's no flickering right now. And there you go. It's, it worked. So you could get started, make an account, and just probably just want to sign in, you know, but... Yeah, honestly, guys, like regarding the apps on Xbox 360, there's really there's not really much to cover or even get because at this point, the app store and like your app section is basically a graveyard. Like you load anything up and like the services are not available. So unfortunately, it's a short segment regarding the apps. And yeah, man, rest in peace. All these apps <laughs> Yo, crackle. I used to watch free movies on my iPod back in the day. On that shit.
Internet Explorer, fucking... Yeah, guys, everything is pretty much finito, except YouTube and Netflix. Woo! Holy crap, what a long video, man. But congratulations, guys. You have made it. But hopefully by now you're starting to download and even purchase some content that I've showed you today because I cannot emphasize it enough. It is super important to get as many things as you possibly can before the Xbox 360 marketplace shuts down forever because some of these games, gamer pictures, themes are gonna be gone forever, lost in time. And I really hope I helped you guys out. I try to shine light to games in certain categories, whether it's the demos or backwards compatible or physical collections. I just really tried my best to show as many titles and content as possible but yeah this is it guys the ultimate countdown ticking time bomb to the end of the marketplace long live the xbox 360 and the beautiful content it has provided throughout the years for over a decade but yeah guys thank you for watching and with that being said like comment subscribe swag on stay lit and long live the Xbox 360 Marketplace. I'll never forget it. And peace.